Hello everyone. Sorry, my son was making tea and oh, he's not done. He's back. <clears throat> How are you all? Do you want to come say hello because you're back? He's got his headphones on. Ooh, kitten down. Working on the beast now. Yay, the beast. How are you all? Are you all good? Oh, you can all hear me and everything, I'm assuming. You'd be telling me if you couldn't. Carl? Do you want to pop in and say hi? Because you're lurking about. No. Yeah, you can all hear me. Yay! Can all hear me? Then you can go now. Thank you for the tea. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm good. I can look after myself. I'm sorry, I just jumped out in the shower, as you can see. Um, how are we? Are we all good? What are we all working on? Yeah, I'm still working on my castle. I did think about switching it out because it is confetti heavy. Um, it takes a lot of concentration. Uh, I just want to uh, do something I don't normally do and share out the video. Okay, we're all good. I can see live chat. Oh, you're working on the water fairy. Oh, Cindy, I'm sorry, you did call me. Uh, oh, I was like elsewhere in the house. <laughs> um, I'm all good. Um, but yeah, we'll have a chat for sure. Um, definitely. Sorry, my fault. Um, I did um, hear the phone and see that you had called me, but uh, I will catch up with you. I promise I'm not going to be here all night. I, I can tell you that now. That's for definite this time. Um, just turn the ping off um, because that's about to go nuts. I'm in an admin group in the chat. Um, yeah, because I have an inspection in the morning and although everything is absolutely awesome in this house, I will give you a tour of my front room in a little while. I'll give you a little tour. Um, and maybe my cubby hole, once the kids are settled and out of the way. Uh, but I do have an inspection in the morning. And although everything is good, everything is neatly. I've got one box down here that I can't find a home for. So I might just chuck that in a cupboard in the morning. Um, it's all good, but I do want to whip round with the the brush and the mop, just because of appearances sake. Hi Laurie, how are you? Yolanda, you was here early. <laughs> you was here early. I'm doing fine, I'm waiting on the water to boil from my warm water bottle. Oh, your feet are freezing. I've got to put my fire on in a minute. I'm warm. Um, I have a massive, like, Carl bought me this for Christmas last year. And it's massive. It's like a great big fleecy hoodie thing. Um, yeah, he got it. My hair's a mess. I'm a mess. I told you it's going to go nuts. So, are we all good? Have we had a good week? Um, I did do a whipping chat. Oh, 
if you didn't watch it that that's fine but do you remember my landlord old one he found me on facebook and i don't know how he found me on facebook because i don't use my surname he only knows me by my first name and surname i keep my surname off all social media uh because i don't like it um yeah it long long complicated story but he found me on youtube diamond painting fanatics he found me on youtube and then he left a, a snotty message that i soon blocked i thought mm, do i block it or do i just let my fanatics army go after it because my fanatic army would <laughs> i don't claim to have an army but when someone upsets little old me um a lot of you would go after him and you all know the backstory you all know um the crap that i put up with him the bully boy tactics the um non-court thing everything you all know that so you know um you could have just gone after him um and then he would have regretted it but i thought no just gonna block it but he found me on youtube um, and left a comment on the I've got my house keys on my community tab. He left a comment on there. So I just blocked him. The joy, I know. It is borderline um uh psychopathic. If he put half as much energy into being a nice, decent human being or a uh decent landlord. He'd be on to something, wouldn't he? But no, he's he's just determined. And I'm like, go away. You got what you wanted. And he's like, oh, you left the house in a mess. I said, you wanted me out that day. In my head. You wanted me out that day. You didn't give me a chance to do anything. So it's on you really, isn't it? Like, get over yourself. He has put the house up for sale. And then my aunt phoned my mum, because if you remember, I used to live next door to my aunt. And she said, uh, I phoned him up and said, you're going to fix the fence panels. And he said, no, the new owners can do it. I'm not doing anything. Surely you'd get more for your house if you whipped around with a lick of paint and um, fixed a few fence panels. But okay. Be it on his head. I'm over it. I'm in my gorgeous new house. Do you want to see my house? Hello, Mandy. How are you? Oh, yeah. You bought me this. Hand-decorated strawberry flavour marshmallow lolly. My son came home and he said, you have to show this on live, yes? yes? That is what he said. Oh, hang on, my... Let me just turn that. There we go. Ta-da! Oh, where are we? I can't. It is a gnome. Thank you. Well, he knows how obsessed I am with gnomes, but it's a marshmallow lolly. Do you want me to find plenty of them and you can stick more in the garden? <coughs> no, I'd eat them. Oh, okay. I will eat them. Yeah, Look! <laughs> he was really proud of that when he came home. He said, I got you a surprise. <sighs> so I will munch on that later. We are good, thank you. My Hello, Angie. But we are good, thank you. Both my kids are upstairs in their rooms. So I'm good with that. Um, yeah, gives me time to chat and yeah. <laughs> he said, you've got to show this and I completely left it in the kitchen, I forgot. But he's like, mum, remember, remember, remember? 
How are you, Mandy? Are you all good? And Angie, on your lunch break, I'm guessing. Bite his head off. He's a no. I'm going to eat it, but he's a no. <laughs> Bite his head off. I think his nose is a smarty. I love my nose. Ooh, I'll show you um, when I do a little tour. I'm only keeping it um, here. <clears throat> but I don't know if you watched the whipping chat, but I bought a rug. Um, I didn't have a tape measure. And I just looked at it and I thought, yeah, that'll fit. Um, and I bought a, a rug and um, it, it doesn't, doesn't fit. So I put it over there where Henry's bed was, but his bed is now here because he likes to be next to me. I don't know why, but his bed is here. So he's sat with me down there. Um, I have a Nordic gnome in, I don't even know what you call it, uh, porch. Do I have a porch now? I think it is a porch. I've got um, Norman out there. Uh, I've got my little cubby hole. I'll show you that, but the handle will probably come off in my hand. But I'll give you a little tour. We got chocolate from Hubby's work for Blue Monday. So I made the recipe that came with it. So that made it a good Monday. <laughs> yeah. Mondays, um, yeah, I, I don't do anything, so like, Mondays is just another day for me, except I go live, yay, I was in two minds about doing so, because like, I'm still coughing, not as bad now, but, I'm at work, so I can't see the chat. I'll fill you in, Angie, don't worry. Can't see the whole chat. How's work going? Is it good? Uh, I'm not going to be here all night because I do have an inspection in the morning. Uh, although everything is good, everything is awesome. Uh, I do want to whip around with the... Um, Broom and mop, just saying, just so that I feel better, <laughs> but it's all good. I don't know why they need to do an inspection, like I moved in on the 21st of December, I've not even been here a month, but yeah, no. Got to say yes to this, they want to do three a year, um, I think they just want to suss out who's moved in. Um, and check that I'm not actually doing anything. Work is actually bad. Oh no. Is it still um, awkward? Can't speak too loud because you're there. You have to wait till you get home. Make sure it's set to live chat and not top chat. Yeah, she's at work. So, um, I think it's her lunch break, if I'm correct, stateside and all that. So what's been going on in your week? Fill me in, let me know um, what's been happening. I can't wait to finish this castle. My messenger's going nuts. They, they chat in there, so I just turned the ping off. Um, I just want to give... <clears throat> my throat is still a bit dodgy. I just want to give a massive shout out to Crafting with Kay. She's really, really poorly right now, so she can't... Um, she did say, I'm not going to make it. I'm like, just look after yourself. That is the main thing. She is really, really poorly. And... Um, 
captain's looking after her which is awesome but i just want to give a massive shout out you're missed because she will watch replay she watches <laughs> replay i call her nuts for doing it but yeah no hello dan how are you you all good you had a good week what you're working on i was in two minds whether to go live or not and then i thought why well, are you all gonna be like no if i don't but cough seems to be doing okay touch wood touch wood cow hello i love miss cow how are you? <gasps> Tijuana, can I call you Karina now? Because it's in your name. <laughs> Hello, cats. How are you? Oh, you guys, you guys. Oh, uh, Cal's amazing. I was in her live yesterday. She goes live on Sundays at seven now. Is that a regular thing? I, d I wasn't even prepared. I just went on YouTube and saw that you were live and thought, what? Normally it's eight. But I can get used to seven. I can, I can adjust my uh, busy life. <laughs> That's not so busy. Well, thank you for coming. Got a celebrity in the house. <laughs> yeah, seven. And you work hard. It's not just an age thing. That's silly. I just turned 44. Oh, don't like it. I don't like birthdays anymore. And you're doing all the TikTok thing? I can't do TikTok. I, I lose months at a time when I go on TikTok. But you should whack it on uh, YouTube Shorts as well, um, by the way. Do it on both because I don't do... Um, I'm working on, uh, how can we do this? Spooky Cathedral from Diamond Art Studio. I'm on the last five, well, six and a half sections. Good morning, Palmy. Are we going shopping today? It's not as bright and colourful as yours, I have to say. <laughs> it's all darks, it's purple, very dark purples and but it's coming together. It is coming together slowly but surely. Uh 50 by 70 in square. Oh, we're not shopping today. I'm still catching up on everyone's videos. <laughs> so, you know, I, I'm doing the rounds on YouTube because I was without internet for, what, two and a half weeks. It was horrible. So I am doing the rounds, catching up with everything going on. Yeah, what can I say? I don't know if you can hear my dog. Let me know when you get home safe, Angie. Um, try not to be all stressed out. Just don't do your tour yet. <laughs> I've got to link up my phone yet and do different things. But yeah, I said I'd show you my front room and my little cubby hole with just some of my diamond paintings in.
get to see my house. I'm awaiting my neck curtains. Uh, I live right by a school, for those of you who don't know. It's a primary school. So all the mums are like, you know, nosy and as they walk past, I desperately need nets. Desperately need nets. But they're on order. They're coming. Not doing bad. I only moved in on the um, 21st and that was Christmas. Spent Christmas with mum. So I haven't been here long. And we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I love it here though. Quite, quite a few of you said to me, the difference in you, you're relaxed, you're happy, you're smiling. <laughs> There's no stress to be had. It's really weird. Um, it's a feeling I'm trying to get used to. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, there's nothing, there's nothing to worry about. I did get my gas and electric bills in. From the day I moved in to my birthday, funnily enough. Just under £100 for gas and electric. That was nice. Ooh, I need four. <coughs> you right, baby? You quite happy down there? You look happy. Yeah, he won't let me pick, pick him up, so. I put the big rug, well, the little rug that I bought, I put it by the back door because he has to kind of jump over the door frame. And then he was like, yeah, no, I can't jump it. I can't jump it. And I thought, oh, his legs have gone. No, when, I'm, when Carl moved the mat, he jumped in. He doesn't like landing on it. <laughs> I'm like, but you'll lay on it all day. <sighs> Funny little dog. So I put it in where he normally has his dog bed, but now he's down here because he likes to sit where I sit. Silly little dog. Are you all good? This takes a bit of concentration because the symbols are like, you have to watch where you place in every drill. So what is going on in life? Fill me in. Because, you know, I'm nosy. I want to know what's going on with you, Lola. Have you had coffee yet, Dan? Um, no one, because I was so excited last week, I was just super excited. We, it, last Monday, the internet went live, um, I don't know, 11, 11 o'clock noon, that sort of time. And then I said to several people, oh, got internet. And everyone was like, oh, you're going live then. <clears throat> I was totally unprepared. I was totally like excited. Um, and then it was my birthday on the Tuesday, and because, you know, I'm here for a couple of hours, um, we were kind of all on a high, shall we say. No one gave me a nudge. Yes, I've had coffee. Ooh, spiced rum and coke. I meant with your friend, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny I meant with your friend it's, it's, there's been enough time so I figured I could ask um, yeah no one gave me a nudge and said uh, Cindy you haven't done the Fanatic family um, 
giveaway and you haven't done the um, I'm just no good draw. No one gave me a nudge. So I will do those today. <laughs> I'm just warming up and oh that. Yes, that. <laughs> I think I was just checking in to make sure you have um, staying hydrated. <laughs> I'm glad you are though. Sorting out house and also getting ready to be away for four days. Ooh. Car circuit racing for two long days and have to travel four plus hours. Wow. Oh, you haven't seen them. We have to make this happen, Dan. I don't know how. But it's all good. It's all in the timing. That's what I learned moving house. You know, we all want things to happen like yesterday, but it is all in the timing. You have to trust it. This dog. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's down there. But how? I don't know. Um, you know me very well, but you don't. I, I'm no angel. Um, I'm no angel. Uh, uh, uh. So, uh, let me put my thinking cap on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how we can make it happen. I'm too far away, so... it's mm, a big ask all the way from here. But I'm no angel. Just have to take my word for that. I was in two minds going live today, but then I didn't want to let you all down because you've all got used to Mondays. Um, but I'm a little bit scatterbrained, to be honest. Normally I'm on it and all the rest of it, but not today. Not today. Ooh. That is exciting. You'll have to let us know. Or me, you can message me. Um, last devil needed to be angel. Oh, Dan's gonna be on countdown. Oh bless you! I could I couldn't not I could I couldn't um not go live. I could imagine my fanatics being like, "What? <laughs> what?" But yeah, I'm glad I did because Miss Cow is in the house. It's no secret. Um, yeah, it's no secret. I followed you, Cow long before I had my YouTube channel. Um, I don't know if you remember, because obviously you're popular and, um, you know, a lot of people say a lot of things to you. So, um, I bought a uh, custom from, <laughs> dare I say, my very, very early days. Early days. Oh, third time lucky. That, right okay we we have to manifest this okay so it's going to go well tomorrow and then you will be accepted so put that in the universe not 
yeah it's it you're gonna be on countdown you've, you've been on countdown before yes i think uh but miss cow i have followed you long before i started youtube um and i bought a custom from everyday e-deals because i used to buy all of their um cheapy kits and i thought why not and i paid a lot of money for it and it came and it was a hot mess uh, a hot mess and you had a video on your channel where you were teaching us that um slicing it and it it was like the green man that you were working on um and you taught me basically you taught me how to salvage rather than binning it but you taught me how to salvage double-sided um tape with air bubbles and rivers in it um so of course i've been loyal ever since oh, messengers going nuts i might mute the group in a minute um but yeah thank you for that yeah you taught me how to to salvage it and i did it and i sent it off it was my brother and his wife um, and I wanted it, I think it's for Christmas or something. Their anniversary or something I did it for. Um, but yeah, cow's amazing. Cow's amazing. And I said, oh, I'm moving to Colchester. And she went, oh, you're going to be posh. Yeah, no. It hasn't changed me. <laughs> 2011. You're going to have to find me that episode. Um, and send it to me. I don't know if it's like on YouTube or something, but you'll have to find me. Have to send it to me, or I'll try and find it. Then Cindy stop a friend. You can be our claim to fame. <laughs> yeah, no, um. Yeah, I'm far from posh. I've got uh, probably 10 or more double-sided. And uh, yeah, I'm going to need to pull Carol's tricks out the bag. I remember that. That green man was a nightmare. I remember your first video and said you were a natural. <laughs> you did. You. <laughs> I remember you left a comment on one of my videos. I can't remember which one it was. But on one of my videos, and I was like proper fangirling, because obviously I watched you before I started YouTube, and I was proper fangirling, and you said to me, you'll be you'll be at a thousand in no time. And I was like, yeah, okay. Um, I don't know how many subscribers I had, but I was nowhere near, nowhere near a thousand. But now I'm sat here with one thousand... 470 plus which is a bit scary it is a bit scary but I've been here what a couple of years now um, but thank you Miss Cal I don't think it is but I'll have a look oh just for me thank you I bet you can find it. I, I reckon you can find it. Um, I'll give it a good go. But, <laughs> I don't know. You have to message me um, a little bit more information so I can pin it down. It would be awesome to see you on TV. You know, on Countdown, not like True Crime. England's Most Wanted or something. I have a couple of double-sided and I've had them for two or three years and they have no more rivers and bubbles than they had before. Oh, you fangirl me now. You just behave. <laughs> you just behave. <laughs> That's very sweet of you. No. 
I love my Sunday evenings, sitting here diamond painting while listening. Um, I had just had a bacon sarni and a cup of tea at the time, but then I pulled this back out. I was going to switch it out for a double-sided one, funnily enough. I want to get those done. I want them, because I'm not buying any more this year, all the double-sided I have are all the ones I'm going to have. So if I can work through those, that'll be a bonus. I'm doing good on that. I know we're only 16 days in, but still, I'm doing good. I haven't even had an itch to buy any, which has surprised me. I got an Amazon mystery pack today. Um, it was good. 10 diamond paintings for 26 99 <coughs> You sent me them. Do you know, you're very, very lucky. Um, they are amazing ones in that pack. You have, um, yeah, you were very lucky. Um, I've seen some, I, I think I got a 10 pack um, for my channel. And I was like, what is this? And what is that? Um, not doing that. <laughs> you were very, very lucky. You had a good, a good batch. Yeah, you had a good batch. I'm trying to do all these arrows. I do need pen, uh, wax in my pen. I'm trying to avoid looking at any of the sites as I know I'll give in and buy one. Are, are you putting yourself, how many do you have in your stash, Cal? Just like ballpark? Because I can imagine your stash is, um, Big. <laughs> Big. But I'm loving watching that um, Emma's one come to life because um, it's colourful. I, I've got one of Emma's, um, Standing Proud from Prism. And that is awesome. If I knew where it was, I would pull it out, but I don't know where it is. About 40. Wow. Yeah, um, I have 370 plus some, so I, I'm done, I'm done, for the time being, I'm done. I, um, I bought 13 in Diamond Art Club's Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and then Love and Sparkle said to me, hey, you know, you've just put the app on your phone. You can have 20% off um, if you use that. So I bought two more. So um, Love and Sparkles, thanks very much. <laughs> thanks very much. That is um, insane. But I did it. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? Be rude not to take the discount. I'm not counting. I still need to buy something from Emma's work. I love Emma's work and have a few of hers. Yeah, I've got Standing Proud. Um, I don't know if you guys do it, okay? But when you look on the site and then you see all the different sizes and you think, hmm, 50 by 70, or I'll get a 50 by 70, um, then you unbox it and you think, hmm, that's massive. Yeah, I still kind of do that. Why did I go so big? <laughs> but it looks amazing. I can't wait to work on that. Um, I got it in rounds, although I think I bought that quite a while ago then I bought their mystery a Christmas mystery one which was amazing that was squares 
um, and tree huggers that I was working on. People in my live will know about that one, but yeah, tree huggers, that was square. Their squares are amazing. I have no problems with their squares whatsoever. Um, I have I have to trust you to do your square kits. Or if I purchase from a new company, I buy one round, one square to um, then test them. I found so many that I want to do after doing my stash. Yeah, stash videos. Um, yeah, I know because uh, I do the same thing. And with me not purchasing any more this year, I can finally pull them out because if I was still buying, I really want to do um, um, what is it called? I can never remember the name of it. I need to change the name of it. Um, Passion and Power. I really want to work on that, and if I was still buying them, it would like get lost. Uh, just a story. I really want to work on that, but I'm working through my old kits before I open my new ones. That's what I'm trying to do anyway. But I can treat myself once I've done a few. Um, saying that my mystery is a new one that I'm working on, uh, but I've kind of sidelined that to finish this. I'm working on one now that's 50 by 70. Started it probably years ago at that point at this point yeah you're like me though you i i have controlled myself since i got myself under control but you're like me you have multiple whips and by multiple you have lots you uh mr dan have lots of whips on the go last i saw you was doing the um sunflower was it sunflower you were doing? I think it was. Uh, I think that is all of the arrows done that I can do. Doo -doo -doo. I think so. What one? What ones have you found, Cindy, that you really want to work on? I'm curious. My tea has gone cold. Mm -mm -mm. I'm also working on the beast for more than a year now. So I want to have it done soon. <laughs> Don't want to hit the one and a half years. <laughs> I'm. I think when I decided to move, I pulled out all of my whips, um, and, and got them under control. Me and Dan were like trying to get all our whips under control. Um, mine, I got under control. It's looking flubbing fantastic. I have to say. Yes, Rainbow Sunflower. Is that the 50 by 70 one? Or is that a different one? I don't know if they did that in a 50 by 70. I don't know. I can't have more than two whips. My brain won't cope with more. It stresses me out. I'm not going to lie. It does stress me out. Um, I I sat in my front room, which is right here. Um, I pulled out my coffee table, pulled it up to my sofa. Um, and then I picked up this Ta -da! Oh, I'm not going to get it all in but look how cute he is I pulled out this it's a 30 by 40 um, it was already kitted up and I thought I'm going to sit and do that and watch all the wrestling that I I don't know it made no sense because I'm a teenager, okay? When it comes to wrestling, um, Hook's music hit and I'm like, yeah! Um, 
things like that. So I, I can't diamond paint and watch wrestling, but I, I managed to get it done. But I caught up on all the wrestling. Um, then I sat and watched House while I finished it off. That was my third whip on the go. <laughs> Because it was a 30 by 40, I pushed to get that finished yesterday. Um, got it finished, and now I want to finish this one. Um, and then I can do my mystery. And then I can pick out what project I can do next. I already know what I want to do, the double-sided one. Can you show it again? I missed it. <laughs> I can't really do it on this cat. Oh, hang on. If I do this, can you see? It excuse the state of me, but... Ta-da! I love Hook. He's Rookie of the Year. I don't even know where I got this from. It is in my unboxing somewhere, but... It FG normal or fan cells or something like that. Yeah, it's super cute. I was going to save it for spring flings because it's got a little flower. But I did it. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, super cute. Right, bye bye. <laughs> I don't want to be centre stage. I found that I can't die and paint and watch a horror watch a horror because you miss too much I, i'm not a horror person i have to say but i totally get it i totally get it um but i'm too busy jumping up and down uh, I'm, I'm a wrestling nut I, I can't help it um what i loved was uh, dan watches wrestling so um i loved it with um ricky starks and jericho <laughs> i thought that was so funny <laughs> That's how far back, <clears throat> how far back I missed it. Um, and the only thing I can't find is this um, um, Top Flight apparently won um, 300,000 or something. I, I can't find that episode. I don't know why, but whatever. The DP I got today, I'm covered for all events this year. You definitely are. I can't watch horror even if I don't do anything. No, I can't do horror. I know um, Dime Painting Gamer does, uh, Crafty does. I can't do horror. My mum used to love horrors, um, and then she just suddenly couldn't cope with them. So I don't know. I don't know what that is. But she used to love them. Uh, equals now. More dark purples. Yay! Ooh, gonna go and get some homemade chicken curry. Yeah, love hook. And the fact Taz is his dad. And he's just like. Yeah, I didn't know he was here. <laughs> That's so fun. I'm glad Taz is a commentator with us, with AEW. I don't watch WWE. I don't, I don't endorse them whatsoever. Only because I won't pay their prices, but... I'll be back later if you're still around. Ah, oh, <laughs> go get the small-ish one to bed. I don't think it was on diet. Oh, I think, was it on the Ring of Honor thingy? Because they're compiled. I don't like that, Dan. I don't, I don't like it. Okay, I've supported AEW from pretty much the second week-ish. I came across it and I've watched it ever since because I love wrestling. Jericho came out and I was sold. Um, so he was right when he says, uh, you know, people followed, people are here because of me. 
um, he's quite right, I am. But then I fell in love with Jungle Boy and Hook and not MJF. And all, but the homegrown, Derby, um, yeah, they need to like, I don't like the fact that they're mixing it up. They should keep AW as AW and Ring of Honor as Ring of Honor. Because people follow Ring of Honor. I, I don't. I, I don't watch it, so it gets a bit annoying that they keep, oh, well, they've got a pay-per-view and this is going to be done there. And um, I, one minute, um, um, what's his face? I can't remember who had it, but then Claudio came out with the belt and I'm thinking that that wasn't yours. When did you get that? You know? So, Ring of Honor. Oh, okay. And I get it, he's bought both. He wants the audience to watch both of their, both companies, but I'm not interested in Ring of Honor. <laughs> I don't even know how to. I don't think MJ is meant to be liked, no. Carl always has. Carl's always supported him. He thinks he's awesome. But mm. another thing I don't like is that he's the champion. He just fights when he wants at pay per views. He's going to hang on to that belt for years. I don't like that idea. If anyone can get it off him, it's Danielson. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. I can talk about wrestling for hours. But, um, yeah, oh, I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm chilled, it's all good, it's all good, I love my new house, I love everything about it, though I do need tea, to be honest. The one thing that annoys me in this house is that the boiler is in um, Reese's room. I can hear it beeping from here. It doesn't affect him. He still sleeps, but it's really annoying. So when they come around to do the inspection, I'm going to be saying, can you turn that beeping off without having to turn the hot water and heating off? Because that's annoying. It just beeps constantly. I'm not into wrestling, but it's fun to hear you enthusiastic. <laughs> I love wrestling. I, I grew up as a teenager watching WWE, and then we bought the pay-per-views, and we stayed up late and watched them. Um, yeah, it, but I love wrestling. I, I can't help it. I, I said to Carl, if, if I was to film the reaction, you know, just on Dynamite, say, their weekly episode, then um, people would be like, oh my God, that's not the Cindy we see in lives. <laughs> it would be embarrassing. Yeah, it is annoying. Um, it's in Reese's room as well. But it, I can hear it here. Because the house is so quiet and um, other than the traffic going past. I'm trying to do my 2022 completions because oh, I've still got to do that. At this rate, it'll be 2022 and 2023 and it'll be four hours long. I'm still trying to do that. I've got my art dot done, finally. Bless them. But yeah, I, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. Then I'll set my phone up so you can have a look at my front room. And you can see where I put Norman the Nordic Gnome. The mythology behind Nordic Gnomes is that they protect your house. They protect everyone inside, inside the building. So um, they ward off um, unexpected visitors. That is the mythology. Um, 
he kind of slacked a bit with the landlord at the old house, but I'll let him off. So far, so good here. So, you know, but I put him in my porch. I'll set up my phone and then we'll do a little mini tour. I know, isn't it so pretty? It's got butterflies on it. It's so pretty. Uh, it's a marriage made in heaven. Uh, if you could see my storage. I'm sorting out my garage. It's a bit of a hot mess right now, but I, I have a unit in there. I'm thinking about putting all of my storage that I'm not using. Because um, even under here, I've got my uh, 161, you know, the double one. Um, then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine kitted up in storage under my table. Because they're the kits I want to get done next. And because they're already kitted up, I can free up that storage and have a mega kit up session. But I have to plan ahead for events and stuff as well. So, you know, my brain doesn't cope well with information. Oh, it's a little bit slow. But it's so pretty. Yeah, I got a new one with butterflies and flowers on it. It's so cute. I wanted something from Art Dot, bought it, but they were not able to send. But I did need to pay. I did need to pay for money exchange between them and me from euro to dollar. What? You wanted something from Art Dot, but they weren't able to send it. But you had to pay the exchange rate between euros and dollars. That doesn't sound right. That that's nuts. Because I was on their website yesterday, just browsing, um, and I saw a little. Um, I saw a little um, tray where you can put your little green trays on, and I thought, ooh, because it's all wood. Um, yeah. Still debating on getting it from Amazon and have it sent to me. Oh, that's insane. Stick to Amazon. Um, Art Dot have an Amazon thing. It wasn't through Amazon. Was it on the um, website or? Oh, from the bank. Eh, that doesn't sound right. That that sounds a bit suspicious. Opinions in the comments. That's that sounds a bit suspicious. I'm weird. Because surely you can just go on, buy it, and have it sent. It does it all like, you know, euros, dollars, pounds. All of that is automatic, surely. Oh, that's insane. That would drive me nuts. To be honest with you. Right, let me go and top my tea up and then... My son bought me some of these. 
uh, can't, you can't see. They're like little mini Turkish delight bars. I like it. He did good with that one. So I'm pinching one. Well, they're mine, but you know what I mean. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Helen. Welcome. Are you trying to pay by credit card? Yeah, I know I first got it from the art dot site. But apparently couldn't send it to my forwarding address. I have a military address. Still debating on getting it from Amazon. Oh, my sweets. <laughs> I love Turkish delight. For my birthday, what have I missed? That's insane. I don't understand. I I get to keep them. Do you want my gonk lolly? Did you see my gonk lolly? Ta da! Carl bought me it. Sharon said I've got to rip his head off. <laughs> Knowing how much I love Nordic Nuts. Credit cards charge. I don't understand. Um, you just go on there, buy it, and then have it sent out. Surely. Have a massive art dot box on counter, but don't feel like doing a video just yet. You're probably videoed out, are you not? Because you've done all your stash and you've done all the um craft room. <coughs> You got a new one as well that I've got to watch. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> How are you, Helen? Are you all good? And Vicky, are you all good? It's not fair, but I've heard about credit card companies charging. Has Julie joined? Everyone's saying hi. <laughs> Okay, let's do this, shall we? Let's see if I can pull this off. I don't know if I'll be able to, but we can try. I'm all for trying things. What's happening here? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's annoying, but if I get my products, I'd be okay. But if I get a refund and need to pay twice, it's annoying. It's not good. It's stressful. It's stress you don't need. <clears throat> oh, let me see if I can just... It might go a bit funny. Um, <laughs> Are we all good with sound? You can all, they're upstairs in their room. Can you hear me? There might be an echo. <laughs> Front room. Front door. Watch. There's Norman. It's only going to be a quick tour. Look at that. <laughs> There's Henry. And then behind the kitchen door. And inside here, oh, look at that stash. That is all my diamond dark clubs, my craftably, my paint gems, dreamers, and some drills. But there you go. Behind my kitchen door, no one knows it's there. And kitchen. But there you go. Oh. Yeah, baldy dog. But there is my front room. And my dining room. To be sorted. Fanatics headquarters. To be. And there you go. Hello, Rose. How are you? Uh, just did a home tour. Yeah, the flooring, I love the flooring, um, but when the dog walks on it, it's annoying. But yeah, that's downstairs. Um, yeah, still moving in, so, you know. Oh, you're doing okay? Good, good, good. Um, I saw a picture on Facebook. Uh, um, are you going through another trauma? I 
I'm happy here. I'm happy here. If only I showed you the old place. Um, yeah, but that that was. I, I. It's not all on the landlord. It's not. But when you can you can we lay back in bed now or get on a rug? Thank you. Um, you're going through the wars, Rose. Oh, Rose, look what I got. Ta-da! <laughs> Carl bought me it today. It's a marshmallow lolly. I don't know if you can... It's a gnome! Super cute. It's marshmallow, so I'll be chomping on that later. I'm going to put the fire on, because this cold. I'm very, very happy here, but um, in my old place, it wasn't just the landlord. I lost heart in that place. Um, I hated it. Um, I let the garden get out of control. Garden was massive, like massive. Um... Ideally, it would be big. It would be ideal for a family bigger than ours. But he wasn't nice. Didn't make me want to kind of do anything. Um, I did a lot of healing in that house. I was. Um, I, I still am. I still have the conditions, but I, you can see the difference. You can see the difference. Um, but I let things get bad. Do you know what I mean? Um, I redecorated all the stairs, um, I tried, I tried, I, I did it all purple and white with like the positive slogans going up the stairs and I loved it, but it was a lot, it was a lot. So it's not all on him, I'll, I'll give him that, but a majority of it is. When he doesn't fix the boiler and you're cold all the time, the last thing you want to be doing is being in that house. and. Um, Sucks, but yeah, <laughs> spank tally. <laughs> That's funny, must be zero by now. Well, one because I just called it a nine, but yeah, I'm very, very happy here. Very, the landlord phoned me up. Because I go through an agency, and the agency lady said, um, ask for Julie, and she's like in charge of anything that I need doing, or permissions from the landlord, that kind of thing. Um, just contact me, she said. And then the landlord phoned me up and was like, oh, I just want to pop round and introduce myself and go through a couple of things. And I'm like, wow, what a difference. Like, he spoke to me really, really nice. He sounds really, really nice. Um, yeah, it, uh, what a difference it makes. What a complete difference. You think they expire? <laughs> yeah, we're in 2023 now, so all the 2022 ones don't exist anymore. <laughs> Need a new notepad. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, I'll soon rack them up again. Just saying. But yeah, super, super happy here. Did you get to see, um, obviously I only have my phone, but you get, you got to see the gist of the house. Um, a North... Norman, the Nordic gnome, that has always been his name. Norman, the Nordic gnome, is in the porch, protecting the house. I feel a bit bad for him because it's quite cold out there, but I'm sure he doesn't mind. He's Nordic after all. Oh. 
I'll wait for you, Julie. Get rid of them. That's why I don't want to move. Landlord's awesome. Yeah. Uh, if you find a good one. There's nothing to say that your next one won't be awesome. But, yeah. Better the devil you know, right? See, I, I, I was not um, sad to leave that house behind. I honestly think... Um, we moved in there oh, I don't, I don't, eight years ago. <laughs> eight years ago. Um, I lived there for eight years. And, and he's just a complete douche. It has dropped. I'm going to put my little gas fire on in a minute. I'm feeling it. My hands are a little bit nippy. I don't like being cold. It's the one thing I don't like. I can't. <laughs> I just remembered I popped into your live last night and you like, yeah, smack bum because you're late. And I'm like, I'm in the UK. <laughs> like, I, I forgot, okay? I forgot. But yeah, I turned up and she was like, bye everyone, bye. Oh, great. Cindy's here now. Uh, thanks everyone. Um, and left. Just you just left. You didn't even stay for me. But I get it. Um Miss Cow and Miss Rose, they um they have their lives down to an art. Um because you both do what, two hours each? Like um I know you go live three times a week, don't you, Rose? But um you do two hours. You've mastered that. Whereas I go live and I'm still here in the morning. I did miss. Um, what happened? I did. I complete. I have completely lost. This is. I'll show you. Um, my diary. You even sent. You even sent me a link, didn't you? I didn't even get that until in the morning. So maybe I crashed. Maybe that's what happened. But I have, I'm not very good at this, but I have a massive um, diary. Uh, let's go this way. You have to excuse my uh, mess, but. Ta-da! 2023. And then each page. Each day is like this. <laughs> so I want to um, fill in um, people's events and um, when they go live so I can keep track of everything because I'm not very good. My brain is not good. Uh, it doesn't retain information. So if I can write everything down um, and then actually use this book, other than just filling it in and putting it to the side. But it is huge. What is this? Oh, we have a misprint. That's nice. Yeah, we've got a lot of misprints. What is this? August 7th. The 9th of August. And then it does this, like, misprint. I can still write in it, but it's okay. So that's August. It's only a couple of pages. October. Oh, Henry, sit down, you annoy me. Based on your health. That's, that's all good. It's all good. Um, I love how you and Cal can just say, right, yeah, no, it's time to go. Um, and then you click off. I, I need... Henry? Are you coming over here? No, you stand by the back door. Okay. But yeah, if I can write everything.
everything down and get into a routine, um, I'll be happier. <laughs> but I apologise, Cindy. Um, that's probably why you've been a bit... Um, can you hear that plane now? You've probably been a bit worried because um, I kind of completely went off radar, which isn't intentional. Um, far from it. But yeah, kind of... Uh, I don't know, I don't know what's been going on. I think um, moving in, getting sorted um, and finding out um, homes for everything. I did sort out all of my drills. They are all in Fanatics headquarters. I don't like being this close. <laughs> I, I am not, you know, sorted. I just realised. Took me a long time to do that at first. I'd be on for hours and hours. I'm kind of known for it now. But not today. Um, I can do mm, till quite late. But I have an inspection in the morning. I need to um, hide all of my um, YouTube stuff. Um, like, because they'll be thinking, what on earth is, is she doing with all of these phone holders and laptops and whatnot? Just saying. They think I'm going to go a little bit nuts. You talk to Henry like I talked. <laughs> yeah, I do that. I do, I do all that. He's part of my family. <laughs> yeah, there's um <coughs> This is the real me. Um, you know, I I I talk to Henry <laughs> like that and everything. I can't put my fire on now because the dog's outside. That's the new music for Of The Fanatics. What is? Yeah, no, I, I need, I need that. Um, oh look, time's up, gotta go. Um, I don't do that. <laughs> I'm not sure how long I've been going live, but it's a good few months now. But usually I'm in for the long haul. Um, last Monday I was just running on excitement and, you know, my Wi-Fi was back, finally. Um, I still haven't heard from BT, by the way. Uh, they want to dig up my pavement and my garden just to give me internet. They're going to go, no, mm -mm, that's, that's not happening. Um... Okay. We did that with the cats before we had the kids. We were like, bye, you're going to go now. <laughs> yeah. We always say to Henry, there's no need to bark because we'll be back before you know it because he barks at everything. He barks at TV. He, it's what Westies do. We didn't know that. When we got him, we thought it was just Henry, but it's not. It's all Westies. They bark at TVs. They bark at leaves. People walking past a window. And I have no nets. So that's fun. There are times I don't stop at two hours, but I find it easy, especially with Kenzie home from school. Prize draw. Yes, let's do that. Sorry. Um, like over an hour in. Um, let me just wait for the dog to get in. Yay. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, do you have my notebook on what the prizes are this week? I don't think I do. Because, you know, they said all the news. But we will do the draws, um, and then you can um, get in touch with me and we'll find out what the prizes are. But I completely... Um, <laughs> requires food. Chicken nugget time. Excuse the clicking. It's a really old guest farmer. There we go. Is that awesome? You sit in front of the fire. And go, ooh. There you go. I shut that door to keep the heat in. Oh, you can't see anyway, but yeah, that's what I do. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know what the prizes are because I've got them all scheduled. Uh, I don't know where my notebook is, but we will draw it. Um, and then uh, when you contact me, um, I'll go through the prizes. But what do we need to do? We need to do this week's and last week's. Yes. So, um, Miss Kay's not. <laughs> Excuse me. See, so barks at cars going past now. There's no need, is there? We're not getting invaded. Um, I need a pen and something to write this down on. Ever so organised, ever so professional here on my channel. What am I working on? Um, I'm still working on my spooky castle. Can we? No, that might. There you go. Still working on this one. <laughs> I can't work it out. But I'm in the I'm in the last on on the bottom end. So I'm doing like all of the mist and stuff at the bottom of the kitchen. But I've got five sections plus this bit that I'm doing here. Okay, Fanatic Family. Um, Anna's here. Julie was here, but she's gone. Um, I'm trying to think, but... I'll do this week and last week. Fanatic family. Just go to my calendar. So the 9th and the 16th. <clears throat> uh, tiny decisions. I haven't got anything to. Uh... Are we good with this? Can we see this? So my fanatic family members are Sharon Martin. Oh, Sharon's here. Sharon Martin, Dumpet and Gamer, Crafting with Kay, Get Well Soon, we miss you. Um, Anna, aka Lady Banana, Julie, uh, Atlanta, Dan, you're here, aren't you, Dan? Um, Kat's here, Travis Gets Creative, and my newest member is... Kathy Holborn. I think that's how you say it. I'm not very good with names. You know this. Okay, so the Fanatic family member for the 9th of January. Um, is Henry got a car? Henry, happy now you've got a carpet. Yes, <laughs> he is. Although I've kind of rejigged the house a little bit. I've put a rug. Yeah, there's a long story behind the rug, but... That's over there where his bed was. His bed's now here because he likes to be with me. I don't know why. But he's happier. I'm happier because he only goes tap, 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 tap in the dining room bit. Um, Dan, Sharon, Anna, Kat. Um, what I'm going to do 
once a month is go live oh love and sparkles as well um i'm going to go live once a month with just my members you lucky people so i want to know is there a a, a day not mondays but is there a day in the week that you prefer um and times in uk time preferably day and time you would like to go it's going to happen once a month um we need to work out the date but yeah what well, let me know what works um and i will work something out okay so are we ready are we ready let's go Miss Cat, Cat Ashford, you are the fanatic family member. Um, Ashford, don't know what I was writing there. Fanatic family member for the 9th of January. Wednesday or Friday night would be good for me. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. Okay. Um, that's helpful, Sharon. Thank you. <laughs> Wednesday or Friday night. From 8pm or earlier. Any day apart from Friday. Okay, so Wednesday is in the running. Okay, reset wheel. 16th. So this week, 8 p.m. would be good. Okay, so um, I need to put Friday. Um... Members only. Second time now. I have my live went oh Wednesday, of course. Yes. Well I can do two hours. Um we because you go ten at my time, or we can go earlier. If we go a little bit earlier, then I, I, obviously I'm not gonna put an all nighter with just members, but Yes, you do. Um, let me just put that, 10 p.m. Okay. <laughs> See, this is why I, um, I, I like putting it out there because I get reminded of things. So you're 10 p.m. in my time, I think. If you know me, if I'm awake, it's good. <laughs> Okay, so this week's fanatic family member is dun, dun, dun. no way. <laughs> that was completely random. Did you see that? <sighs> there you go, cat. I kind of want to redo it. But, you know, I'm going to do an extra one because that's like, I'm doing an extra one. But yes, you do, you go live at 10. I know. Respin. You want me to respin it? Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> I tap it multiple times so that it goes around. It, it's favouring cats. Okay, hang on. No repeating result. 
There you go. That's what I should have done. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> <coughs> Sharon, sorry, that Sharon Martin. There you go, Sharon Martin. So you both have um, a £10 discount for, don't you? Which is down at the minute because I'm just rejigging things, but it's coming. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I was hoping to do it tonight, but <laughs> I wasn't ready. <coughs> Excuse the coffin. <coughs> Once it hits, it's hard to get rid of it. Sharon and Cat. There you go, ten pound discount. Um, just pop me a message. Um, I have sent out parcels. Um, I can't remember whose. I know Anna's has gone with Royal Mail, so that should be here this week. Um, Anna's has gone. Um, Miss Kate's has gone. Uh, I can't think who else. Julie's has gone. Um, there's an order in my emails that I need to get back to. That's gone. Um, Dan's has gone. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, thank you for your patience. Uh, moving and everything else has been super, super stressful. Okay, but I've noted that down. So now we need to do up to snow good. Um, we'll again, again, we'll do it for the ninth because I didn't do it and the 16th the only problem is track yours down I, you and Alanta should have had yours because it's straight from the supplier let me make a note of that because you and Alanta are still waiting and that makes no sense to me whatsoever um so i will have to check in but i, I will get on that um sharon no not yours um, yours is in the cupboard, but, um, oh, speaking of yours, mm -mm -mm, there's a reason why I didn't post yours. We'll come back to that. Remind me why I haven't posted yours. Um, okay, so here we go. We have, I can't, I, I'm sorry. I'm so unprofessional. I'm so like bad at this. Um, moving house has completely thrown me for a loop. But the 16th and the 9th, we're going back to January, last week and this week. I can't find what the prizes are because I haven't got my notepad handy and I've just put a load of stuff in the garage. Yeah, so it might be up there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but winners, contact me i will tell you what you have won i will find my notepad by then um i will tell you what you've won and yeah because there are several prizes from companies to win now miss atlanta she before christmas won the 50 dollar diamond art club um that again is at the end of um the event another 50 dollar diamond art club I'm off to bed. Thank you, cow. Thank you for coming. Like, I'm super fangirling. I, I love you to bits. Um, and I'm very, very blessed that we have become friends over, over time. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love and adore you. So thank you for coming in and joining me on my live. I really do appreciate it. I love you lots. Um, and I will see you on Sunday, if not before, at 7pm on Cal's channel. So, yes, um, prizes. Uh, I can't, I honestly can't remember the order of them because there's so many. So I know um, DIY Moonshop, uh, Prism, uh, we still have them prizes to go. So please do contact me if your name is drawn. I'm going to pull out a couple. Uh, I'll pull out two for last week, two for this week. Um, one will get the main prize. 
one will get a gift from me um and so on and so forth on both sides so are we ready are we are we in shot here are we in shot let's go let's pick up random i normally like my kids doing this because um you know i i, I feel like uh it is completely random addicted can we see this addicted to diamond painting chris is one winner for the ninth so addicted dp chris is one uh, for the ninth again bonus prize is meredith taylor am i in shot here meredith taylor she does awesome canvases so that is the ninth this is why i need a, a pa okay so this week's prize Again, there's a main prize and a, a bonus prize. So I will do, um, I, I will do two again. One has fallen out. So let's have a look at this. Angela Cooper. That is um, uh, uh, um, Angie's, she was here earlier in her lunch break um, and she'll be back later. So that is, Angela Cooper. She used to be Angela Cooper and then she started a YouTube channel. So yay, you are a winner for this week. Please do contact me, but you'll be in later. Um, Angela Cooper. And the bonus prize is... We have one for one now. Where should we go? Here. Carissa Marie Hudson. Ta -da, you are a winner for this week. And there you go. I think we're all done. Carissa Hudson. So please do contact me. I'm going to just leave them out while. Um, you claim your prizes so i know who's in but there you go that is this week's <coughs> and last week's <coughs> prize winners for up to snow good and my fanatic family members um is cat and sharon well done all of you um yeah, I, I am loving hosting this event. I know I'm like very disorganised and I apologise for that. But, you know, real life got in the way for a hot minute. Um, I will say that um, I hunted down um, amazing prizes for Up To Snow Good. Amazing prizes. And people were very generous. Uh, Miss Anna, um, Crafty Witch and Teresa who owns the uh, Facebook group UK Buys and Sells Diamond Painting, I think it's called, um, very kindly donated into the prize pot. Um, for Spring Flings, I am minimising who, oh, and of course Diamond Tribe, amazing, um, amazing. And Sam from Forever Sparkles, again, um with the advent box of common minders that was amazing um i had to go buy one because i just i was so jealous i wanted it so i bought one <laughs> but yeah super super amazing i really do appreciate everyone but for spring flings next year i am um condensing who um the prize pot i'm condensing it um we are only doing two months instead of three but yeah 
I, I am just breaking it down a little bit and keeping it a little bit more uh, simple and organized uh, because I feel like I'm very disorganized, just saying. But I appreciate the, all of the support and all of um, the amazing, I think Spell Queen is one, isn't it? Spell Queen, this, in one of them, Spell Queen um, have given us a canvas to send off. So that might have been a prize um, leading up to... But we've only got till the end of the month now, so yeah. And I'm sitting here working on Movies and Diamonds, <laughs> which is a Creative Mummy of Twos event. Um, I must say, I am really, really enjoying your event. I really am. Um, you've put a lot of hard work and effort into your event, and I am enjoying it. So anything movie related um it's good to go i did wonder if i could do that little mini dragon but yeah i, I thought about um puff's magic dragon but he's too cute for that so um i just did it <laughs> but yeah i'm having a lot of fun and your group is amazing and seeing everyone's films that they've associated with their canvas it's it's a lot of fun so well done you. Your first event, I think, is it? It's the first one I've done personally, but yeah, January and February. Pete's Dragon, yeah. Pete's Dragon. That's the one I was thinking. <laughs> I think Julie said to me, oh, you could have done this castle for the Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I'm like, I, d I could just come on live, okay, and go, um, what can I use this for? Or what film can you associate with this? And you guys would be like on it and sort it for me. <coughs> <coughs> you guys are amazing. You help me keep my life organised. Funny as that sounds. Your first one. Wow. That's awesome. Do you have any more lined up for the year or are you just doing January and February? Because it can get a little bit, um, want to do another one. Do you know what I mean? Um, I, I done, um, spooky flings. I'm not doing that this year. Um, because I want to join in with other people's events as well. <clears throat> um, and host, spring flings and easter things and up to snowbird because you all got to know me for that so i'm keeping those for almost every canvas there is a movie to find or well, depends how creative yeah um i, I was because I, I i make no secret about it me and kay are very good friends and we chat 99 percent throughout the day and I said, oh, I've got this kitted up, this kitted up. And she said, oh, that could be Beauty and the Beast Castle. So I was like, oh, that works. No spring flings, no. Oh, oh, of course, let your witch goddess free. That keeps confusing me. I need to, um, I have got that, I have um, talked about that already. So I'm definitely doing that. Um, let's. Which goddess? Right, can you just give me um, this piece of paper's not big enough? Hang on. Right, let your witch goddess free. Okay. Is that the hashtag for it as well? Let your witch goddess. Oh, I can't write free. That is the hashtag for it. 
I want to finish this one, see how the event goes, and then, yeah, I think you've done amazing. I think you've done amazing. Use your big diary. <laughs> yeah, no, I want to get things right for that. Otherwise, I'll be just like you. <laughs> I'm going to see December 31st because it's the only page left where I've scribbled out all my notes. <laughs> Right, so you've got the Facebook group, which is 23 on the end. That's Facebook. I just, yeah. See what I mean? I, I scribble notes. So that's the hashtag as well. Uh, do we add 23 on the hashtag is the question. Um, and what works? Which canvases? Goddess canvases. Pagan. Wiccan. Um earthly like mother earth type things it is cindy's event you see i'm just co-hosting it with her so <laughs> what better time to hash it out than now the hashtag will have a 23 on the end okay so i would just call it that i i will stacy hello how are you you've come in just in time um, <laughs> we're talking events. So, which goddess, pagan, Wiccan, Mother Earthly type um, canvases? I'm guessing. Again, just co hosting. So, yeah. Which wizard? That was the one. Wizard. I've got a wizard, but I want to do my goddess ones. Um, it's the two Cindy's. It is Love in Sparkles. It's her event, like pagan, spiritual. Yeah, this is what I need. So then I can um, just reel it off. Yeah, which goddess, pagan, Wiccan, wizard, spiritual? All good. Which wizard? God. Goddess. Pagan spiritual. It is Cindy's event, um, but she was talking on, on her live, I think it was. I think it was on her live. Um, and she was like, oh, I'm looking for a co-host. And I was like, hey, over here. And I thought it was funny that the two Cindy's on YouTube were teaming up. Because that's just going to throw everybody, especially you, Stacey. But I said, <laughs> it's going to throw everyone off. It's like, um, Cindy, and we're both like, yes. And that's um, all good fun. I'd have Fortune Teller I can do if I want to kit up something else. But what month? September and October, I do believe. When does this start and would Virgo do for the event? September 1st through to October 31st, yes? <laughs> I should write that down. Okay, never mind. Yes, no, it's um, September and October. I just call her sparkles. Yeah, I'm just hashing out details. Um, I did say to um, Cindy that I, I would co-host with her and I've kind of, uh, because I've moved house um, and everything seems to have gone out of my head. So that's on me, but I'm getting back there. Um, Jay Wall, because they, they are very earthly, like um, symbolic. So far in advance, I'll be prepared. <laughs> she was here earlier. Yeah, she's gone to get Kenzie some food. But yeah, she's. I, I love Rose. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hide it. Even though she's um, whooping my butt. Because look, I have a gnome. Ta da! It's a marshmallow gnome. My son bought it from the shop for me. 
but he's like my guest star today. <clears throat> yeah, Jay Wall is very um, earthly and will certainly fit into the uh, goddess theme. Okay, so I need to stick that somewhere where I don't put it on my little organiser tray. All good. All good. And you have yours in February to you bite his head off. I'm not going to bite his head off. I might have to though. Um, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, wait. Oh, I have to change the screen again. Mm, excuse my arm. Da, da, da. I love this painting. It is going in my room. I haven't put anything on the walls yet. But this is going in my room. Absolutely stunning piece of artwork. It's massive. <laughs> but gorgeous. I love it. I wonder if I can pop that down here. Should I, does that work? No, you can't see it. And I'll cover it up. How did I frame it? Um, I can't remember what size it is. And, and they don't do it anymore, I don't think. So I would have bought um, I don't know. Anna, do you know what size it is off the top of your head? Probably not. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that, that is Let's just bring it back. But it's the king and queen of the fairies. And, you know, very romantic. That's why it goes in my bedroom. But yeah, butterflies. And fairies down here. And animals. That would definitely work. A hundred by eighty? Is it really? So I well yeah, then that would be the frame that I bought. Cause um I don't know <laughs> in America you're very different. You like take it to Michael's and it costs you hundreds. Um but here we can buy them from Amazon. Um and we just buy them. But because Diamond Art Club, this is what annoys me with Diamond Art Club, it's the only niggle I have is their size. <coughs> is their sizes. Um, yeah, because it's like 44 by 33. Like, why? Why can't you just do a 30 by 40 or a, a 50 by 40? Do you know what I mean? But that's the only niggle I have. But it makes framing awkward. Um, but this is stunning. I love this. It goes in my bedroom. Do you want to see the other framed ones that I have? I've got Miss Havisham. But she's massive. Mm -hmm. One of my favourites is Nightbringer. I love this. 
And again, this was um, a funny size. So if you can see inside the frame, I put black masking tape to hide the difference. But yeah, I love this. Look at the sparkle from Don Arco. Most of mine are framed that are sitting in the garage because. But I love it. This is going in my hall, I think, or maybe above my fireplace. It would fit in my grey room, so that would work. Uh, I often have spring lamb. I don't like how this is framed, to be honest. Um, my frame's too big, but spring lamb. I'm just leaving it there for a couple of minutes because people like diamond paint and then look up. Again, sparkle. That's super cute. I did love spring lamb. Miss Havisham was my favourite. Have you finished her? Huh? Oh, it's time for bed. Good night, Yolanda. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, it's 11 where you are. Ikea is good for frames. Cheapy frame off Amazon. Yeah, that's what these are. They are perspex. They're not glass. It's plastic. But no one knows that, do they? I mean, you can think that that's glass all you like, but it's not. It's plastic. And then obviously the hardboard wood with the... Um, fitting still in there but yeah i get mine from amazon end of september to end of november my diamond painting goes on a back burner because that's when i'm on tour what do you do what do you do that requires you going on tour Miss Havisham, I love Miss Havisham. I kind of want to give her to the, sorry, I'm <laughs> advertising that one. Um, one of my all-time favourites. This is one of my all-time favourites. Night Messengers. Um, yeah, this isn't doing it justice. The colours in this is amazing. That's one of my favourites. I'm fixing a frame perfectly because I've got the right size for this one. But I love it. Esther Anna's artwork from Diamond Art Studio. But yeah. And the rest are in the shed. Other than Miss Harrison, but she's too big. So uh, I'm just going to um, go back into the little corner. I love Miss Hammersham. Yeah, the, um, I have more and more framed, but they're in the garage and um, festive fireplace. I tour with the Three Degrees on the UK leg of their tour. Wow, I had no idea about this. That's interesting. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Okay, I'm going to um, put this one in solo. While I make a cup of tea. <coughs> <coughs> and then um, I'll be back. <laughs> but yeah, um, wow, that's amazing. Will that fit on there? 
<laughs> I love the three degrees. Um, I'll be honest, I need to Google it. But, um, or YouTube it even. I, I, I know, I know of, the, I went on to studio because that's habit. I, I know the name, but I just don't know. Oh, of course. I, I can only do this for a couple of minutes. Close to sending your idea out into the world. Create something brilliant. Uh, let's just... <laughs> Amazing, I knew I knew the name. <sighs> yeah, don't want to get copyrighted. <clears throat> Sorry, no, <laughs> can't do it. Oh, wow. But that's amazing. I can't believe you kept that so quiet. Are they doing the charter hall by any chance? Everyone goes to the charter hall. Um, E17 were here um, at Christmas. I, I wasn't moved across yet, thankfully. But, yeah, East 17, I was like, really? They still going? Yeah, they're doing the, doing the charter hall in Colchester. Right, come on, tea time. Tea time. It is tea time. Uh, no, Sharon. I'm what Freddie calls emotional support and a security blanket. That's that's amazing. That's so cool. Like we had no idea. <laughs> You don't really want to be, um, there you go. It is, it's super amazing. What an awesome job. Super cool. Celebrating 60 years. Wow. Sixty years in the business. These drills are clumpy. Don't like clumpy drills. Yeah, to think I was going to switch it out and um, work on something else. <laughs> 
I'm kind, kind of glad I didn't now because, you know, it's only the second week that you get to see this one. Um, in my true crime story time, ooh, do you want to know who it is this week? Mm. Uh, me and Carl were watching true crime last night, funny enough. He put it on YouTube and then was talking over it and I'm like, be quiet. I'm trying to listen to the story. Don't put true crime on and then expect a conversation. That's just silly behaviour. But, yeah, he kept trying to talk over it. And I'm like, stop talking. Um, he put on um, YouTube, and they're going through different cases. And I went, um, what was her name? Because I need to, like, look that up in more detail. Uh, interesting. But it's not her I'm talking about this week. Um, but in that video, you will be um, watching, well, kind of... Um, I'm working on that super cute dragon that I finished. So that's what I do. I record diamond painting and then I record the true crime over the top of it because obviously I have to research and read and stuff. So <laughs> I can't <laughs> actually diamond paint while doing both. But yeah, interesting true crime um, this week. A well-known case. You know, everyone everyone's heard of it, so... That's what I'm covering this week. My friend actually messaged me. Um, and he said to me, have you heard of this person? Oh, have you watched this on um, Netflix? And I said, no. And he said, oh, he did this, this and this in the 80s. And I went, I know who he is and named him. And he went, that's the dude. That's what he said to me. That's the dude. Um, and I went, I know who he is. I just haven't watched it on Netflix. And then I said, I don't fancy sitting in bed um, watching that, funnily enough. And he went, well, I didn't mean now, did I? Is what his words were. But I was being funny, like irony, you know, sarcastic. Because I do sit in bed and watch true crime. I'm doing a unicorn for blinging in the new year. Is that Tim Timor? Is that her event? There's so many I I can't keep up with um, everyone, but I try to support everybody. Um, I can't remember whose event that is. But you, you could do, you could do, sparkles, you could do a blinging the whole year because you bling all of your canvases, don't you? That'd be so you. I am doing the um, Timor, Tia and Dime Paint and Addiction. Okay, I don't, it amazes me how um, so many people <laughs> do one, but yeah, I'm just used to doing it solo, I think. Except for September and October, I am teaming up with you. That'll be my first co-host, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. That That's you down to a T, because you bling up all sorts in your diamond painting. I don't, I don't know how you do it. I, I don't know. I don't have the vision or the forethought for it. I know Anna said she put um, glow in the dark drills in this window. I didn't. I just, you know. So far, all but Cap Cap Capticola Beach. Tacola Beach. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not. UK can't pronounce words.
but you're flying through canvases this year. Um, I've only got my little dragon that I have completed this year. <laughs> to combat the confetti. <laughs> That's funny. I don't. I I know what I want to do next. It's um. I think it's fifty by eighty or fifty by seventy. I don't actually know the size of it. Um. But it is a multi place in heaven. Um. And then confetti in places. But I know what that is. <laughs> the picture turned out to be beautiful, but the symbols were oh my god, and it was a version. Oh, dreamer. Yeah. And I'm not a fan. <laughs> I've made no secret about it. They're never, ever going to ask me to be an affiliate. They're never, ever going um, to send me kits or anything. Then, I, uh, Yeah, I've made no secret. I'm not a fan of Dreamer Designs. Um, I think quite rightly so because I have two that need a PDF, which I said to um, Love and Sparkles is my practice for a heaven and earth, because you kind of need to work on that um, and work on a pattern at the same time. Um, I have two that are blurry and one I haven't even opened. So quite rightly, uh, they're a miss for me personally. New canvas is awesome. I have one of their new ones, so we shall see. You're going to get Koi Mermaid next. I do love Koi Mermaid. I love the Water Fairy too, though. They're my, they're my favourites on, on um, Dainty. They are my favourites. I just need to get settled and sorted um, and then I'll be bringing in new designs as well so that's super exciting hello Amber don't you're not late you're absolutely fine thank you for joining <laughs> oh bless you you're never late, you're here when you're meant to be, that's what I always say, and uh, real life happens, so totally get it. I was running around headless um, at literally five to eight, so I totally relate. <laughs> and then you go live and you're like, hello everyone, Sandra! Where have you been, my lovely lady? How are you? Long time? I feel like it's been forever. Are you all good? I haven't even checked in with you privately for a long time. Um, that's my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's been chaos in headquarters, so... But I hope you're well. You sent me a picture on Messenger. <coughs> <coughs> I can probably turn the pinger back on now. They might have finished. Um, it's not come through yet, but it will. Nine thirty by forties and one thirty by thirty. Says Sharon. Ooh. Wow. Is that Dreamer? That's a Dreamer. Uh, I can get that closer. Yeah. This way. <laughs> Having to work it out is quite funny. This way. 
That is Cindy's. Um, I believe that's Streamer Designs, is that right? That's a version one dreamer. What the like really horrible blurry mess. Um, catch yours hasn't come through. I'm not sure where you've sent it. After a show. I haven't got um anything come through. Sometimes it takes a minute. Oh. Yeah. I'm just going to set an incense stick off. I like my incense. Carl walked in the house the other day and went, oh, it smells lovely in there. I go through them like nobody's business. Once I figured out what a symbol was, I went with it. <laughs> oh, I just spotted some Belgian chocolate eclairs in the kitchen. I might have to have one of those. I think I have two more, version one, then a few, three, and last two are new ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to my um, dreamers. I do, I, I shouldn't just moan, because, you know, I moan about the um, canvases, but I've never actually sat and done one, so I, I should shut up and then just try one. Because I dare say the end result is amazing, but still. Um, let me see if I can find... I just popped you a message, Kat. You can send a picture there. I'm not sure where you've sent it. Um, new one is soft, clear, and like six to eight ABs. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, I got one AB, and I'm thinking, really? Do you, do you, can you really call that an AB canvas with like one AB, and there's about 10 of them? <laughs> Again, moaning. 
yeah that's sorry if you love dream uh, uh, you knock yourself out do you know what i mean but i can't say i'm a fan but i will sit down and do one and see how it turns out and um, especially doing this stash journey i will definitely be working through them so it'll be interesting having to use the dpf for them for sure that'd be interesting I'm not getting much of this done, am I really? But, um, never mind. It's all good fun. I did mix up that I've got um, the equals and the sixes in one tray over there, but I'm not fishing them out <laughs> on live. <laughs> I would sooner rather just do it this way. So how have you been, Sandra? I hope life has been kind and treating you okay and you're all good. Um, I, I didn't make Nix's live on Saturday. You see, I've completely lost it. Um, I don't know what's going on with me, but I miss Cindy's live. I missed Nix's. I don't know what's going on with me, but, you know, I'll catch up with myself. Um, I don't know if you was there on Saturday. I also found changing light around helped. Yeah, uh, sometimes like with this, um, in <laughs> in the, the daytime, the symbols look completely different um, and a little bit easier than sometimes not so much um, and if you i don't know if you can see you can't i'll take a photo and show you oh am i okay to show this on um um here oh you know where my inbox is any any time you need it um yeah it's been a while since we checked in um i i moved um and it's kind of just thrown me oh you haven't been to nix's oh okay <laughs> pop pop me a message we will have a chat in in messenger yeah it's okay okay um Sharon will probably fangirl over this, but uh, am I doing it justice here? This way, look at that, that's super awesome. The three degrees and cats in there, I'm guessing. <laughs> but that was after a show, she said. Just like to leave it there for a minute so people can look up. <clears throat> you could do a custom diamond painting with that. You step down. We can have a chat, Sandra, honestly. Um, you know, you don't have to <laughs> spill everything if you don't want to, but um I know you had a lot going on. Um you know, um you're, you're very active uh, with your daughter and she was doing wrestling, I think. Um, do you know what I mean? Um, you know, and life does get busy and you do just need to sometimes go, do you know what, I'm doing too much and um, YouTube can um, just do one for a bit. I totally get it. Totally get it. Um, I, I do a lot on my channel. I, I don't know how I fit it all in sometimes but i do a lot um and then i fall behind then i feel bad and then um real life i, I have an inspection in the morning so you know it it's a lot it's a lot 
totally get it that you need a timeout and that's all good but i'm always here don't ever think um i'm not here for you because obviously <laughs> i'll be quite honest um obviously on fanatics um miss Atlanta, um uh, that we all know and love um she left comments all over my youtube mainly on my true crime uh and then i saw her randomly in nix's live i didn't know who nix was but i saw her and you and atlanta were like omg it's fanatics um you know you you've got to come on you've got to come on um and you two were proper fangirling and it was really really weird <laughs> it was really weird um you were like whoa um yeah i truly appreciated that and um you're more than welcome to just you know message me and you know have a chat with me it's all good it's all good life gets busy totally totally get it i honestly don't know how i cram so much onto my channel I, I don't know how I do it. <coughs> I need to get, create a calendar for everyone's lives so I could listen all of them. Um, yeah. The, the best advice I can give you, Amber, um, and this is personally as well, um, I have a lot of amazing people here on Fanatics um and i try to be supportive i try to join their events and their lives and everything else um it's pretty much impossible to follow absolutely everyone um you have to get into your own routine on who we're following if that makes sense that's the best advice i can give um and especially um i love rose i love rose's lives um and cindy <laughs> i'll be here this wednesday i promise um yeah so um it gets a lot it does get a lot um obviously i want to be everywhere um and support everyone and friends and but it can get a bit overwhelming and um yeah you know just life just life um, and obviously I've got kids and um, settling into a new house and it, it's all just, sometimes you just need to go, I need to slow down a minute. I need to slow down a minute. I've done so many videos, I didn't know if I was coming or going. It does get that way, doesn't it? It does. Uh, what I'm planning on doing, um, slowly but surely, oh... You did these as customs. Oh. Wow. You can totally see who they are. I just put this on here. But um, Sharon will know more. But then go this way. Sorry, the oh, that's not coming up. Hang on. I don't know what's happening here. The light's gone funny. Yeah, it's not doing it justice because they, these are amazing. <laughs> There you go. I tilt it at an angle. And then this one. Yeah. Need to do it at an angle. And then that's super cool. Um, no, still waiting. I know it's getting like insane now. I'm getting stressed out about that. I'm I'm starting to stress about that because he needs to be in a school and he needs I I have um 
just done all of the council tax thing. Um, so now that I'm officially here, <clears throat> I'll just have to wait for a letter, I think, to take down to the council to say that I do live here. Here's my uh, council tax bill. Here's my utility bills. Um, now get them into a school. You, you need... Um, Everything has to be official. No one will take your word for it. Um, I moved house. This is where I now live. And they're like, well, prove it. Like, you can keep sending stuff to my old house if you want, because I'm not there. Gets really warm really quick in here, which is good. Yeah, don't, don't feel bad, Amber. Um... Don't feel bad. Real life gets in the way and, you know, you can't be everywhere all at once. Um, I turned up in Roses and they were logging off. They were like, yeah, bye. And then they went, Cindy's here now. <laughs> and she's late. <laughs> so, totally get it. <laughs> that was funny. She's like, I smacked bomb for you for coming in late. <laughs> so, oh. At least you saw me. Bye. <laughs> oh, nice cup of tea. Two and a half hours we've been here, guys. Two and a half hours. And I did a little tour around my house. Yeah, I love my house. Oh, the child's coming. I have to pinch one of them cakes. It's talking to me from the kitchen. You know you want me. No, I really don't. Because just looking at you, put, I put calories on. So... Stop talking to me. I hate it. Just looking at food. Let's see which child it is. I think it's Carl. Hey, I was right. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Are you eating them cakes? Yeah, he's getting cake. I should really just suck it up and put wax in this pen. So what is going on? Oh, I've got these. Little Turkish delights. Could do with a bigger bar, but I'll munch on that. That's cool. I'm looking forward to getting this done. I feel like I've been on it. I haven't done many completions. Done the little dragon. Working on this one. It's taken me far longer than I want it to because I'm having to focus on every single symbol. Can you hear my dog snoring now? <laughs> Joy's still having the bed right here. I can hear him. He's gone back upstairs now. This annoys me. He's using that windowsill like it's a shell. I've just seen his cup juice, cup of juice on there. That annoys me. There's a, there's a calendar already made. I think her name was Poppy that did it, but I can't say for sure. 
Um, I don't know if she would have everyone's name on that. I don't even know who she is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think it would be impossible to um, do that. And then, like, Stacey's impromptu solo. Have you done a solo since, I might ask? Because I'm kind of out of the loop on YouTube right now. But have you done a solo since? I hope so. I am playing catch up. <laughs> I'm all over trying to catch up on everyone's videos. I haven't done one since. Yeah, I didn't. I I didn't see one pop up. But I have been watching um, House on TV um, on an evening. I put. I'm on. I've missed it. And, and that's the problem. I had no internet for weeks and now I'm like binge watching it again. I'm on season six now. I love House. I think he's so funny. Although it's getting a bit <gasps> now, but we'll see where that goes. I'm going live soon, but with Christopher Calasso um, for our event. It's hard for me because I'm usually on roses. I, oh, yeah, that was funny. Um, I was saying earlier about um, I went into Rose's live and she was like, bye. And I was like, wow. And it, you, it was you that went, Cindy Michelle. <laughs> She's like, yeah, no, we're leaving. See ya. <laughs> You were there as well. Yeah, it and it's hard. But Stacy Ritzy needs um to go live. I enjoyed yours. I call it on replay, but Hello Angel. Good morning. I can't get on with house. It messes with my head. That he's putting on an American accent. Someone else said that. I can't remember who who it was. But yeah. Um yeah, I, I love I love it. I, I love how he's a doctor but hates people. Um <laughs> unless they're like hot or um into open marriage, you know, that, that kind of spikes his interest and he goes and says hello to them. But other than that, he's not interested. <coughs> I will, I will. <laughs> you do what's right for you, Miss Stacy. But yeah, I I enjoyed it. Is all I'm saying. Oh, it's funny. I I like it. It, it does get a little bit, I mean, the cases are always fun. The cases are, it threw me off. I thought, I know her from somewhere. What was she in? And it was Michael Schofield's, um, was it Sarah, the girlfriend slash wife? It was her, and it threw me off. And I was like, mm, okay, you, you left the prison door open. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it was her. I used to love Prison Break. Sister loves it as well. Yeah, there's quite a few um, seasons. So I'm on season six. But the cases are always fun and unique. Um, and it keeps you going. If, if it was much the same, the same, then I probably would have lost interest by now. But the cases... Um, and poor old Wilson. Although, mm, yeah, I don't know. He can't. He kind of sets himself up for it. But 
so good fun. I enjoyed it. I'm enjoying it, I should say. Yeah, I put it on in the evening and diamond paint while I watch it. Rewatching The Crown. Isn't that interesting? I used to watch The Crown and think, whoa. And then I would talk to my mum about it. And they always go, oh, it's not factual, but um, it pretty much is. Like on the gossip scale, anyway. Um, and I was watching The Crown and was like, interesting, interesting. And now we're in a time zone that I've grown up with. And I'm like, oh, I remember that. Do you know what I mean? It's it's really, really weird. It's really weird how it's gone from, oh, interesting, oh, didn't know that, um, to um, now, where I'm like, oh, I know who that is. Oh, I know who that is. That's John Major, that is. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's It's so super strange. I got hooked on Breaking Bad. Yeah, I done Breaking Bad. Uh, Carl said something earlier about that. I can't remember what he said. And I went, that's Breaking Bad. Like, I, I caught it. Yeah, Breaking Bad was good. Not what I thought at first, because, you know, everyone was like, oh, it's all, like, meth and stuff. And I thought, that's not my thing. But um, I started watching it, and I was like, yeah, no, this is good. I love Breaking Bad. And that young lad in it, he's in um, numerous things since. So he's done well for it. Can't remember his name now. But I, I, yeah, I watched that. It was good. I enjoyed that. And again, that's like a binge thing. And then it ends and you're like, no, no, I can't leave it there. <laughs> What's the next one? I do like it that um, I'm not a one for, oh, uh, like Prison Break, I did. Prison Break, uh, it was long before all, all what we have now, I guess. But like every Monday night at 10 p.m. or whatever time it was on, whatever day it was on, I was there. Like, I built my life around that one hour of sitting there watching Prison Break. But now I prefer to binge watch stuff. I don't want to be there um, tuning in every week, catching up what's next. Um, I want to binge watch stuff. I can't help it. That's the way I like it. Supernaturals, Supernatural was the one I always liked. Again, there's lots and lots of that, isn't there? I only watched the first seven. Wow. Um, I've, I've, there's, there's like double figures of it now, isn't it? Discovery of Witches. I haven't seen that. I might have to watch that. Supernatural, again, I started to and then thought, mm, no. Because <laughs> I'm sat here on my own. Um, and the mum was on the, in, on the very first episode or season or whatever, the mum was on the roof, um, on the ceiling, I should say. Um, and the dad got the kids out and then went back in for her and you know, I thought, yeah, no, I can't do this on my own, like, late at night. <laughs> so, I couldn't do it. And it's funny because I, um, I love all that supernatural stuff. But uh, not when it's all, like, freaky. And then they were driving in a car and this woman who was jilted by a boyfriend kept doing stuff to people. It's all a bit weird. Peaky Blinders. Rain. Um, no. I don't think I have. Is that the, like, royalty thing? Is that the one you mean? Peaky Blinders. I like Peaky Blinders. I can't say that without the um, swear word in the middle. <laughs> yeah, you know how they say it? That's how I always say it. Apart from when I talk to my mum. Um, 
Like my mum got me into Peaky Blinders. Oh, they're doing a spin off Gallo Glass. Mm. <laughs> Re watching AHS. What is AHS? Along, yeah, um, I remember seeing the avatar. It's got, um, what's her name? Her name has completely gone out of my head, but I can see her face. Um, it's the woman that never ages, like in real life, she never seems to get older. Um, <laughs> um, what's her name? I can't even Google it because, like, she never seems to get old, she never seems to age. I'm gonna have to Google it now because it's bugging me. I don't think I'm wrong. I think she's in it. The woman that never gets old. Jessica Lang. That's not who I'm thinking of. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's not in it. I can't see her in my unless she's not in this section. I can't think of her name. Starring. Dun, dun, dun. No, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's not in it. Who's the lady I'm thinking of? It's a famous lady, everyone will know who she is. It's bugging me. No, it's not her. I don't know what her name is. Oh, American Horror Story. Uh, the mum. Are you talking about the mum? Cher never seems to age. Yeah, it's not who I'm thinking of. She's, she's an actress and she's got a son who <laughs> actually looks older than her. Um, oh, it's bugging me. Um... I haven't seen Rain, so I don't know. It 
it's bugging me. I don't even know what to Google to find her. Ooh, here we go. She's not in here. I put never aging actors, Jennifer Aniston, Halle Berry, <clears throat> Keanu Reeves, Sandra Bullock, Paul Rudd, Reese Witherspoon, Eliza Wood, Bob Lowe, Kate Winslet. None of these are the ones I'm thinking of. I don't know. I'm going to have to give this up. It's really sad. Um, Lisa Marie passed away. I found out yesterday and I was like, what? Um, it happened a few days ago. Oh, no one cares about Harry. God. Uh, Jennifer Lopez. This lady, Jennifer Lopez. Selena Gomez. She's only young. Lord. Halle Berry. Lily Collins. Oh, have it, has anyone watched Emily in Paris? I love Emily in Paris. Kravitz, Elliot Page, Bianca Lawson, don't know who that is, you're going to kick yourselves when I go, oh it's, um, I can't find it, now we're in adverts. I don't know. I don't know who it is. <coughs> and it is really sad. I was like, oh, and Carl went, what? And I said, Lisa Marie Presley's passed away. And he went, oh. And he, you know, he doesn't know who she is. I went, it's Elvis Presley's daughter. I mean, Elvis died before I was born. Um, you know? But yeah, it is sad. She didn't look well. In um, I was watching a video on YouTube saying this was the last sort of interview she gave, and I didn't watch it, but it came up on my um, you know how it plays, and she didn't look well. But it is sad. It is sad. She's only fifty four. So I don't know, I don't know anything more than that, but, very sad. Hmm. Oh, let me see, hang on. I love how my brain works. Okay, nice. Let's come up with um, something completely random. Oh, here we go. This might have it in because these are um, a bit more. No, I don't want to download anything. Get off. Uh, Cindy Crawford, Jennifer Lopez, Julia Roberts, Goldie Horn. Uh, 
Holly Berry, she's in every single one. Jessica Lamb, wow, she looks good. Judy Andrews, Meryl Streep. She should be in here. She should be in this list. Jane Fonda, Naomi Watts, Elizabeth Hurley. See, Elizabeth Hurley. See how she hasn't aged at all? <laughs> She's the one I was thinking of. Ta -da. I don't know how I didn't know that. She's 54, she doesn't even look 54. How is that even possible? I don't want an offer after, no, no. Thank you. Gwen Stefani. Betty White, Jennifer Aniston. See, how can they say Jennifer Aniston hasn't aged and then use that photo, that comparison? <laughs> yeah, she clearly has. Um, Jamie, I knew she'd be in this list because um, it was older people. But yeah, Elizabeth Hurley is who I was thinking of, look. Ta -da. She looks younger than me and she's older than me, so. Elizabeth Hurley, that's who I was thinking of. Elvis probably died from an actual heart attack and is genetic in their family. Yes, but Elvis was um, unhealthy. Something tells me that um, Lisa, not so much. Um, I'm not judging, but, you know. Um, oh, that's just sad. It's like an end of an era, isn't it? Like, Elvis is iconic, and his daughter's died. So, I know she has children. Um, I don't know what they do or anything like that, but... Just sad. Um, it's sad when anybody dies, but you know, Elvis's daughter. I think I was a bit late to that party because I messaged Kay and went, Oh my god! And she was like, Yeah, a couple of days ago. I was like, Oh, not, not news news then, but I, um, I don't watch the TV, I don't watch. Um, the news, I don't do any of that, so I find out everything on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. But your YouTube um, is tailored to you, isn't it? So like, all mine is diamond painting and stuff, and Prince Harry. <laughs> <coughs> you know, it annoys me because Prince Harry and Megan, they did an interview and they completely ruined Oprah Winfrey's um, credibility, her legacy, they completely ruined it. And then he did that interview and they said, I haven't watched it all, I, I can't sit through it. But he said, oh, um, you called your family racist and he went, no I didn't. The press did, and he went, oh, uh, um, um, okay, um, and then he said, well, did you hear Megan say that they're racist? Uh, yeah, we did, <laughs> on the Oprah interview. So now you're throwing Oprah under the bus, again, after completely trashing her, like, legendary status. Drives me nuts. Drives me nuts. I'm telling you now, if this lad doesn't end up completely addicted like an alcoholic or um, worse, it's going to amaze me. He, he, she's going to drive drive him to drink um, seriously. And what are they going to do now? Because they've got no more secrets to spill. 
so that just go away and leave us alone. For someone who um, left the UK because of their privacy um, being invaded, they haven't stopped talking since they left. They haven't been off um, TV since they left because it's all rubbish. Don't even get me started. I, I can't bear them. Sorry. I cannot bear them. They're all about getting the money and now that they've got the money, can you please just go away and leave us all alone? Thank you. Thank you. Just my tuppence worth. Not that it's worth very much. I'm just saying. Clumpy drills. I hate fishing through clumpy drills. So what else is new? Um, what can we talk about next? Elizabeth Early. Love William and Kate. I I I have a lot of respect for. Um, uh, now William and Kate. Okay. It came out that Meghan made Kate cry, and in the Oprah interview, she said no, it was the other way around. And then in his book. In his book, he said <clears throat> that Megan was like talking to Kate, going, "Oh, you've got baby brain," and and she found that really offensive because I mean it's offensive, isn't it? Um, you're not you're not you're not normal because you've got baby brain. Bear in mind, she just gave birth to Louis at that point. Um, oh, you've got baby brain. Um, you don't know what you're talking about. You've got baby brain. Um, and it upset Kate, and rightfully so, um, especially with her hormones all over the place as well. Um, and then she went home and told William, um, and then he went round and said, you know, she's really rude and abrasive um, and, and all that. He was quite right to do that. He, he was quite within his right to do that. And who the hell are you to say anything? Megan, I mean. She was trying to help her, like, oh, this is how it's done, this is the protocol for this and that. Um, and she was like, oh, you've got baby brain. Mm. So it was Megan that made Kate cry. Um, and Harry said so in his book. How did that escape Megan? Because surely she'd be like, no, 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 you can't put that in. But yes, I, I do like William and Kate. I think they're going to modernise the monarchy when they get their turn. Like, completely modernise it. I hope they do, anyway. I haven't heard much about King Charles. Because he was, like, in his day, when he was Prince Charles and he was a bit younger and all that, he was a bit um, above, my mum says he was before his time, because I saw an interview with him and he was talking about vegetarian, um, you know, a vegetarian diet and um, he, he was kind of going on about that. And people were a bit like, say what? Like who, who wouldn't want to eat meat? Like what are you on about? Um, my mum says he was before his time. So I was hoping that um, he might make more of a splash as king than he seems to be doing, in my personal opinion. Again, it's always my opinion. But I thought he might have a bit more oomph about it than um, he seems to have. But, you know... Such as life. No one really cares. <laughs> I dare say, nobody really cares. How do the Americans see the royal family? 
because you kind of you know it's just like the royal family but americans like treat them like um you know differently you, you're very different um especially the queen especially the queen but she deserved it to be fair it was sad when she passed away but i was really truly sad um because she's the queen um and it's all we've ever known and i said to my mum did nana and granddad like see the coronation of the queen and she, they were like yeah but it's all my mum's known as well so yeah it's weird it is weird yeah i hope he does i hope he does shake it up i hope he goes Right, now that we've had the coronation and it's like official, you know, quote marks, um, Harry and Meghan, you can lose your titles. You don't want to be part of the royal family, so on your way. Um, he was talking years and years and years ago because uh, he had his views, didn't he? Um, and he was talking about like making the royal family so that it's the king. Um, the next in line, which would be William, then the next in line, which would be George um, and his family and then um, you know maybe Charlotte as well Charlotte she looks like she looks like she would own it um, I love Charlotte she like tells George off all the time um, but like minimizing it so that you don't have all of the excess royals like going about their business um, and I think that would be a good thing because it would minimize um, the sleazy one who was friends with Epstein, it, it would eliminate all of that excess, do you know what I mean? Um, I think he should do it, but that's just my opinion, I, what do I know? I'm just a girl in her dining room chatting on YouTube, <laughs> what do I know? But yeah, I, I think he should do it. And like, look at, um, is it Zara and, I can't remember his name. You know, they're royals, but they're not like constantly, they're just, they're just going about their business. You know, they, they've made a lot of money doing their own thing, on their own time, on their own efforts, and they're worth a lot of money, um, without being royals and they are royal Mike Zara and Mike Tyndall is it that's what Harry should be doing yeah he should slim it down in my opinion I don't know why Horrid and Methane just haven't given up their royal titles because without them they're irrelevant that is why they got uh, 88 million pounds, aka a million, 100 million dollars for Netflix. If they had given up the titles and they were just H and Meg, no one would want to, no one would want anything to do with them, even now. Um, like, I don't mean us, I mean publishers and um, documentaries and all of that stuff no no one would touch them if it was just h and meg that's why they won't give up the titles because it's the only claim to fame they have even though they're not not war, working royals not nothing he will always be a prince because it's in his blood he will always be prince but yeah but you know there's a hundred percent chance of a re Reconciliation, he reckons. He's done in England. He's completely finished. No, no one, no one cares. And she sits there and cries. Mm. 
could be us over here with a president with full blown dementia. <laughs> Uh, I haven't um, even um, heard anything about Biden. I, I, I don't know. But he said something outlandish. I can't remember what it was. And I was done. Um, in, in America's opinion, <coughs> or for anyone in the UK that watches all of this stuff, was Trump the better option? or not they go on she's a famous actress but i've only ever seen her in one thing and that's suits yes now the problem with megan is she's narcissistic everyone can see it okay everyone can see it she's narcissistic she thought that in suits that would catapult her career the fact that after suits she did um how can we say lower end stuff the only way she was going to make it was by marrying someone famous and who better than harry do you know what i mean you can't get much more famous than prince harry can you sadly that's, that's why she married him. I, I don't think uh, narcissist... I grew up with a narcissistic parent. Uh, they don't care about anyone but themselves. And um, she's going to make them... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't want to be mean, mean. But I grew up with a narcissistic parent. Not my mum. But I grew up with a narcissistic parent. Um, and... It was never about me. It was never about me. It was never about the best thing for me. He was living his life through me um, in that regard. And she's going to do the same thing. She's going to make them ch them children um, like the Kardashian family. That's what she's going to do. And then she'll be the mom mommy job. Do you know what I mean? It's pathetic and sad and it's... We can all see it happening. Trump was the better option. Oh, oh dear. I did hear, I hear he did wonders for the US economy. It was just the mainstream media who turned everyone against him. The media has a lot, a lot to answer for. I, I get they can't be nice to everyone. Um, shed joy and happiness who wants that do you know what i mean we like drama hence h and meg we like drama but yeah it's sad um i i you know and and yeah i i don't know he he was quirky for sure but <clears throat> wanted to build a wall and all that it's all quirky but I don't know. I think he's keeping Earl of Wessex, Edward and Sophie and Princess Royal Anne. They, but again, Helen, um, Edward and Sophie, again, they they have given up their life to do royal duties. They they should they should stay. They should. And Anne um has dedicated all of her life and apparently she sat down with Meg and said, Hey, you need to do this, this, this and this um and she's like uh no that's not what i'm going to do i'm not going to give up my life to um service minion little english people who are not even from my it's not even my country is what her exact words were um yeah don't don't get me started seriously this Megan, <laughs> she's horrific, absolutely horrific. It's not even my country. Why would I want to do that? Because you married 
Prince Harry. Stupid girl. Lady Colin Campbell. Now she's the one who um, speaks her mind and calls out the truth. Um, we have Medicare over here, which helps us stay in hospital for free. Over there, they had Obamacare, which is our Medicare. And Trump took it away, all because it was called Obamacare. He could have called it something else, but he chose to get rid of it instead. Do you know, in all honesty, if she had married Prince Harry and got it into her, her little head that actually she's just become one of the most um how can i put it famous she's just become one of the most famous women in the world she calmed prince harry down um they got married they had children what a lovely ending because you know he was a wild child um he was young and and why not but i don't judge him for any of that I say good on him, but she could have been the most famous person in the world, like not just America or England, the world. And had she just accepted the fact that she's going to have to go and do all these charity events or whatever, royal duties, um, and she could have had a voice. Um, and she could have easily have brought racism to the forefront as a positive thing, instead of calling all of England racist. Um, she could have done so much good, like so much good, and had that fame um, frenzy along with it. And instead they went down this road. Now, I honestly believe it was Harry that wanted out, and um, Meghan just got the blame. I do think it was more Meghan, um, more Harry that wanted out. Um, I think he wanted out for a very, very long time. But they, again, they could have been this power couple. Yes, he's the spare that uh, actually Princess Diana coined that phrase. Um, he could, he could have. They could have both done so much good all over the world. But no, doesn't fit in with narcissism, does it? That's the problem. That's the only problem. Doesn't fit in with narcissism. That's not all about me. That doesn't fit in with narcissism. So, not doing it, hey, not doing it. <coughs> okay, what's next? <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally talk about politics type of stuff because it gets a little bit ooh, ooh, ooh. but they are so annoying
Good night, Sharon. Thank you for um, joining us and keeping us company. I just pinched a cake out of the kitchen. Had to be done while I put the kettle on. Um, what symbol do I do next? Sleep well. And I'll chat with you in the morning. Um, I don't know what symbol to do next. Toxic, there's loads of them. And I'll do Christmas trees as well. Mm -mm -mm. Christmas trees. They're the easiest symbol to see. It was um a chocolate eclair which looks nicer than it tasted. Oh are, are you still here, Sharon? I just got told off on message. <laughs> A chocolate eclair, but it was um nicer to look at than eat. It was nice, it was okay. But, well, I still have one. Do you want to fight over it? <laughs> I think Sharon's. Oh, you're still here. Okay. <coughs> The reason I haven't posted it, you need to give me two minutes, I need to make a cup of tea um, and grab, because obviously it's going into the box, but, because I owe you um, a box, don't I?
Okay, now that I've got my box, um, I owe you a parcel, as you know. <coughs> I'm so sorry, coughing down the phone. Um, okay, so um, I need to find my super glue because I use super glue, but okay, we have a box of goodies here that will be sent to you. So, the reason I held off on sending them is because we have here we have a little trash pot like yeah pink and glue glitter you see how it all settled here <laughs> and then it's all silver and then settled at the top so that's super cute i think so there's a trash pot then we have a diamond painting tray again matching see how the sparkles in there and then the organizational tray that you wanted Ta -da! so that you can put your pen cutter um wax and cover minder in there so yeah you can't have those in mind but that's why um i held off because um i created these oh seriously you want to be out now at what time nearly midnight so you have a done pink and tray as well um in there and a trash pot and then i do have i've got to put the magnets on um but your little cover minder Ta -da! so that's why i held off i need um to find my super glue because I, I don't use um what do you call it and it all comes in a little Teal box. Ta -da! Oh, Henry. There you go. Come on, then. Okay, I can turn that door too. Don't let me forget the dogs out. <laughs> but yeah, that's why. Um, it took me a little while because obviously I wanted everything to set and I'll send your paintings and everything else. So <laughs> that's why, <laughs> that's why it got delayed. Uh, you can go to bed now. Yes, um, I've made them all out of resin. Um, Sharon said that she liked sparkly, so I went sparkly, but I can do, um, see this? These are really, really powerful, like super, super powerful. <laughs> you see, <laughs> they're like super powerful. Oh, you can't see, I'm doing that all here. Uh, boop. <laughs> it's super powerful magnets. Um, really strong. That's why I want to super glue them rather than sticky dot them. Which I think Diamond Art Club do. But the trash pot, yes, I've made out of resin. Um, I can do colours, I can do glitters, I can... Um, I am going to attempt one for Crafting with Kay um, with her logo in the lid. Because she has a channel. So, ta -da, that sits in there. Like so. But yeah, I've, I've made them. I've made them all out of resin. Um, because I'm playing and experimenting at the at, at the minute. Um, I don't have anything set right now because obviously I've got an inspection in the morning. Um, I didn't want all that. Don't touch that! You know, I didn't want that happening. Oh, 
Ecco fuori. Guarda, cosa c'è? Ecco poi. Oh, <laughs> I'll just put the magnets in then and send it. Um, I have got it somewhere. I have a feeling it might be like in that pot. Well, it's in the craft cupboard, maybe. Okay, I'll just send them to you and then Steve can do it then. <laughs> Saves me faffing about trying to find it. But yeah, I put the resin away just uh, because I have an inspection in the morning. So other than that, it'll be back out again and uh, making more goodies. But I like, I like um, being challenged and Kay was like, oh, I want this and can you do this and can you make me one of them? And I'm like, I can try. I'm, I'm no professional, but more than happy to give it a go. But I do enjoy playing with resin. Um, it's very fickle, very toxic, but I enjoy playing with it. Little um, little comforts. <coughs> also, um, this is the um, tray that I made. You know, with the um, gold leaf. It's got a hint of purple in there, but it doesn't really show through, you know, experiments. But this is one of the trays that I've made. Uh, like so. So it works. I use them. <laughs> um, here's my butterfly one. I love my butterfly one. I pinched it. Uh, ones I made. Um... But I've also got a new design coming as well. So, um, yeah, I'm curious to see how that... I have to do the mould for it first, but I'm curious how that will turn out as well. Oh, you're going now. Are you definitely going? Mind you, I called you back, so... Just push my door too so that the house warms up while I've got the heating on. But yeah, I enjoy playing. Um, and we shall see. We'll see where it takes. Um, Kay said to me on one of my videos that she wants me to do um, resin videos. Like, do you, do you want that? To see it from like liquid to product do you know what i mean not sure if that would be a of interest to people but willing to give it a go I got powerful magnets because some of my magnets from Dun Club have fallen off. Yeah, they um I think one of mine did. But I think uh, this dog's now like in in a I don't know, bowling around on the floor type mood. But I think they use, I don't know, I had one that come off. I don't know what I did with it. But I thought they used um, like a double-sided thing. Um, not a double-sided thing, a, um, a, what do you call it? Glue dot type thing with it. Maybe not, but it looked like it on one of them. Heavier cover minders rather than dealing with magnets. I I normally um like place a couple on my release sheets to like jazz it up a bit, but not done that. 
do this one because I've only got five sections left and I want to get it done. You can see like, I'm too busy chatting to Don Pink. Yeah, um, I always have super glue, so I just super glue things back, magnets and whatnot. But yeah, I guess um, I I generally use release sheets as a rule. Um, I know Cindy's just got some more. <laughs> but I generally use release sheets as a rule. So they're more of a like distraction um, to make it look pretty rather than practical use, if that makes sense. But I've got a whole collection in my um, craft cupboard. Waiting for my fridge. When I finally get around to buying one. Because I'll be able to put them on the fridge. And then I can choose a daily cover minder. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. I can but try. Do you, are you all um, hoarders of cover minders, pens, um, other than just diamond paintings? I like my accessories, my trays, my pens and cover minders. Good night, Anna. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to be here for around about half an hour, just just over, and then I'm calling it a day. Because I have an inspection in the morning. Which is never fun. And I have to put all of my, um, I call them YouTube-y things, like my camera stands, uh, my ring light and whatnot. I have to put them all away. Now, I have um, a craft table. Some people call it a draft table, but like craft table. Um, and it, it's a proper one. It's got drawers in it. Do you want to see the contents of my drawers? Well, you can see one side because the other one is my wax. I don't think you need a picture of wax. Wax, um, my electric and my gas bill, um, and bits and pieces, and um, my funnel. That um, my trusty old funnel that I very rarely use, but I do use them. Um, wax, uh, my release sheets, my tape measure. Yes. I um, found my old tape measure. It was in the garage the whole time. Just for those of you who keep asking me, did you find your old one? Yes, I did. After I bought a new one. It was in the garage. That was fun. Um, so I did come back to see that you're doing resin art. Yes, I, I do. Did you see them? Or do you need me to get some? Yeah, I do need to sleep. I, I'm, I'm good for another just over half an hour. Um, because obviously I chat to my friend as well. So, um, yeah, I'm very lucky. My mum owns the house, so we don't need to do any inspections or anything. But she phoned me up and she said, 
um, we need to do the inspection. We generally do it around four weeks after you've moved in. I'm like, okay. I'm used to one a year um, and then um, a, a gas and electric person will come around and check all the gas appliances and stuff. When you rent, they have to be up to par. So I get that. Um, you know, um, and I was like, okay, cool. She said, well, we're going to be doing about three. Oh, right, three inspections? And she said, yeah, for the first year. I'm like, what do you, what do you think I'm going to do to the house? I don't, I don't understand the logic, but, you know, I rent. That's their rules. Um, and okay, then, you know, I, I've got nothing to hide. I Just my camera stands and stuff because it looks a little bit weird. But I, I have my um, crafting table between my dining room and my front room, which works. You know, I can, I can see the TV from here. Um, I can get up and eat my dinner over there. Do you know what I mean? It works. And I said to my mum, oh, my mum FaceTimed me on Tuesday. It was my birthday. And she said, well, well show me around your house then. I went, what? Like... Uh, 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 okay, so I took her around the whole house, um, um, and I said, ask my diamond paint table. Now she said to me a couple of weeks ago, <coughs> bear in mind, she doesn't know I do YouTube. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, she doesn't know I do YouTube. Um, everyone's saying you should tell her, but um, no. Um, and then <laughs> I, I was showing her around the front room. I didn't have my rug or anything then. I was showing her around my front room. She said, oh, very nice, very nice. And then I sort of like scanned the craft table and then into the dining room. Um, and she was, she said to me a couple of weeks ago at her house, when I was sitting there talking, I was doing her Buddha. And I said, it takes up the whole dining room table because I had this upstairs. And she said, well, you need a table specifically for dining painting, really, because you want to eat your dinner on the dining room table. I already had this. And I was like, oh yeah, no, good idea. So then I got a crafting table, as far as she's aware, okay? I then bought a crafting table to do my diamond paintings on. And then she's like, oh, you, you need somewhere to put that, really. I'm like, but it, works here and there's only me and the kids here so yes it looks weird like if i have guests around or whatever it's a little bit weird that i have a massive crafting table in the middle of the room up against the wall next to my dining room table it does look weird i'm not gonna say that but where do you want me to put it do you want me to sit in the garden and do it in the pitch black um freezing cold no um that's not happening my room is big enough to take it, but I can't put the Wi-Fi box up there. I need it for YouTube. And by the time I get a wardrobe in there, will it fit? Don't know. My auntie has one every couple of months over here. Wow. Same with my godson's mother. She has one every couple of months, but she does have two little ones. No, I don't see why that makes a difference. I, I get that they want to suss out, make sure that I'm not going to be, like, you know, ripping up floorboards and stuff. But I don't get it why they, why they have to do several. I don't understand it. But if that's what they want to do, that's okay. I, do, I don't mind that. Just come in, do your inspection. Um... Tell me how to stop that beeping, and I'm good. See you in a couple of months' time. But they did phone me earlier, I missed the phone call. So I'll phone them in the morning and go, uh, Sorry, Mr. Call, what do you want? Just checking we're still on, yeah. Come on in. Unless they're cancelling it. I don't know. Missed the call. But I don't think they're cancelling it, I think they were just making sure. It's all good. I'm happy with how it's coming. I do need some nets though, because of that school across the road. All the mums and the kids are like looking in. 
I feel like I should get up and dance for them. But you know, I, I get it because, um, you know, I, I do get it. I do. You have no nets, it's like an automatic human reaction. You look in to see what you can see. <laughs> but then they see me sat there looking at them and they're like, what? What are you looking at? Or what are you looking at? Every three, every three months here due to the insurance. Oh, is that what it could be? Could be landlords like insurancey type thing. Could be that. I don't know. I'm not bothered. I've got nothing to hide. Just, just my camera stands because it makes me look good. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but so they lay out. I don't know what that was about. Ta -da. I thought the phone died, maybe, but no. Just stream yard being annoying as per. So we're doing Christmas trees. Um, I have toxic symbols here. And then in between the toxic symbols, I have bendy arrows. But they're very, very um, similar. But they're the same colour and they're really, really hard to distinguish. Where did you go? Hiding! Um, yeah, I don't understand all landlord stuff. It might be to do with that. It might well be. I don't know. I, I understand they want to check out... Um, they want to see who moved in and you know what they're doing to the house and all of that fun stuff i get it once or twice a year perhaps i don't know but i've got one in the morning so i just want to whip around with my um little sweeping brush and my little mop just so that I know I've done everything that I can do and it's all nice and tidy other than that I've got a good mind to go take your shoes off take your shoes off I won't Uh, let's do it this way. Ta da! I am so much happier. I am so much happier. I want this on the big screen. I normally do face to face, so you know, you can't judge me for wanting to hide for one week. Do you want to move? There we go. We good? Yeah! This is how I was earlier. Um, I just kind of put it into solo and forgot about it. So, yeah, I am so much happier, Angel. Like, I, I have no stress. And it's a very strange feeling because, like, in that house, I did a lot of healing. Um, I did a lot of therapy. I'm not going to lie. It took a lot of therapy. Um, and coming to terms with everything. 
and then I moved here like the landlord was beyond insane like beyond insane like it drives me nuts when I think of what I put up with but anyway um, I moved here dumped everything went to my mum's for Christmas came home from um, the day after Boxing Day and started unloading the house and unboxing and putting everything in in rooms and everything else I still need furniture I still need stuff but I'm not going anywhere for a very long time so I can take my time get what I want rather than what I need so um but I, I wake up in the morning and I'm like I have nothing to stress about I have other than the dog walking on the floor. Do you want to go? Oh, yeah. Put yeah. He wants to toddle off into the kitchen to get food, no doubt, or drink or something. He's coming back. <coughs> <coughs> but I have no stress. I have nothing to worry about. Um, it, it, it's taken me a long time. I, we're only, what? Um, I moved in on the 21st, then Christmas and whatnot. But I, let's just say from January, because I, I went to mum's. I've been here 16 days and waking up and not being um, burdened and not feeling the weight of the stress or anything is a feeling that I'm trying to get used to. And it's hard. It, it It's like, what should you be worried about? And I'm like, there is nothing. There is nothing to worry about. The landlord's not gonna come knocking on the door. I'm not gonna get um, abuse, like opening the front door to be yelled at and dictated to. It's not gonna happen. Um, so it's something I'm trying to get used to. Just waking up and thinking this is life now. I actually sat in the garden the other day. It was a bit blurry. Wasn't like sitting out in your garden type weather. I sat there with a cup of tea in my little um, garden patio chair. And I was, I was just like, this is what life's about. It's so chilled. I don't even message Kay and was like, look at this. You know, <laughs> it was a little bit blurry. <laughs> it was a little bit... <sighs> but um, it was just nice. You know, the sun was out for all the five minutes. And I was just super happy. And so I, I haven't lost that. Um, I'm super grateful to be living in this house. You know, I'm, I do love living in this house. It's a bit echoey, but yeah, no, it's good for YouTube. But yeah, super, just super chill, just super chill. Um, and I don't need to worry about anything. I just have to learn that and adjust to it. Life is good. It takes a little bit of adjustment to go, mm, actually, do you know what? Life is good. You're not wrong. It's how life should be. Um, I'm just looking forward to getting this done so that it's finished. Um, I was thinking on this wall behind me here. Um, obviously, I've got. Well, I was showing you all those earlier. But if I move over, I think I move. I moved that way, and then the Wi-Fi went funny. So I moved back, um, but I think I moved back further than I was before. But on this wall here, I could do my latest finish. Just pop it on the wall. So when I'm done with this castle, that'll be behind me. Then when I finish with my mystery, that'll be behind. I don't know if I can do that because I don't want to ruin um, the Dungeon Art Club mystery if people want it. I might not put that on the wall, 
but um, all my latest finishes, as, as they happen, so that will constantly change there. <laughs> that's what I was thinking of doing. Oh, that's what you've needed and deserved for a very long time. <clears throat> you you have been here since Spring Flings 1, I think, which is a good few years ago now. Um, yeah, we're in our third year for Spring Flings. Um, so you've kind of gone on my FNAF journey with me. Um, he is worrying me. When he walks, like, he, he walks and his, he holds his legs up as he walks. You're out again. If I could sniff in the door, you'd have to say, He's sitting there sniffing the door like the door's automatically going to open. Um, I remember when we used to have Yorkies, we had a cat flap and they used to come in and out of that. That's what we need for Henry, but it needs to be like massive. <laughs> Um, <coughs> yeah, I can't remember what I was saying. <coughs> <coughs> um, yeah, you've been here a long time, so, um, thank you for that. But, you know, you've kind of gone on the journey with me and it's nice that people can, um, quite a few people messaged me after Monday, um, because obviously Monday, last Monday, um, it was the first time we had internet. And then I messaged a couple of people and was like, yeah, I got internet. And everyone's like, oh, you're going live tonight then? And I'm like, what? Like, whack the hair up, <laughs> you know? Ta-da! Hello. Um, oh, he's From the very first sprinklings, did Geisha from Diamond Art Club. Yeah, I thought so. It's only going to be like background, but usually I don't have this camera. <clears throat> Sometimes I do, just to break it up, but um, I had jumped out the shower and wasn't like... Yeah, I'm just not YouTubified, so to speak. So I thought I would sit in the little corner <laughs> so you can see me, but see what I'm working on. Yeah, just for a change. Um, but Monday I came on and everyone was messaging me going, oh my God, what a difference. Like, you're so much happier, you're so much more chill. Um, yeah, I was on a bit of a high because we had no internet for a good two weeks. A good two weeks. Um, so I was all excited about that as well. Everything was just coming together. And, um, yeah, life's good. Life is good. For the first time in 44 years... Life is truly good, and um, and I guess that's what why it feels so weird. Wow, that that was a bit of a powerful insight. Bit of a powerful insight of information. First time in forty four years, life's good. <laughs> I I've had good times along the way, but it was always. Um, hidden behind either abusive dad, abusive landlord, um, you know, life. But yeah, nothing. Life is good. Life 
is good. But a way to sort of <laughs> make that revelation. Oh, come on, Henry, it's cold. He loves being out there, that's the problem. Oh, here he comes. Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> He's had a go shake. Your your comments that you leave all over YouTube, you're very much like Anna. Um Anna did it the other day and I just smiled. Um, Anna, whenever she, or Lady Banana, as she was here, but um, whenever she leaves comments on my YouTube videos, um, where appropriate, not every single video, but where appropriate, um, you know, where I've sort of talked about issues or something or problem that I had, um, she's very much, um, you're an inspiration and you're amazing and, um, yeah, <laughs> I find that very hard to hear. But you're very much the same um, and I, I do appreciate it, I do hear it. Um, may not necessarily always believe it, but I, I do hear it and um, thank you for all the kind words and years of support. I might add years of support that feels weird to say as well because I've been here a couple of years now I, I think this is my third year come April April 2020 I started my channel so this will be three years what are we gonna do we have to celebrate that is that on a Monday Ah, <laughs> oh, he likes it out there. I'm lucky. Um, March, April, April the third. I, I don't know why that rings a bell. Um, he's he's all right. It just it's annoying when I'm filming. Um, let's just quickly go on my not that. On my YouTube channel. Ta da about joined April the third in twenty twenty. So April the third this year, believe it or not, is on a Monday. And that'll be three years. What are we gonna do? How are we going to celebrate that? It has to be celebrated, doesn't it? it has to be um, a thing and we'll be um, how many weeks in? First <coughs> <coughs> um, of March is on a Wednesday. That's typical. Uh, so we'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, almost six weeks into Spring Flings. Six, seven, eight. There's nine weeks to Spring Flings, and it'll be week six. Are oh, you our most? Def, oh, the day after your 21st. So now it's a double celebration. Wow. 21st. I wish I was 21. <laughs> I'm more than double, Angel. You're making me feel old. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. 
I'm I'm double your age, Ansel. You you are gorgeous. I've said this all along as well. Um, you are. You're very special. Um, a very special fanatic indeed. Without doubt. Okay, you don't have to keep scratching. All good. No, you don't have to keep scratching. It's all good. <laughs> there you go. I'm doing that. Do you want to come say hello to everyone, Henry? I'm pretty sure you do. Do you want to come up here? You come in? Well, if I pick him up, he'll just growl at me. I can tell. I can tell. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, ideas on how we can celebrate three years on YouTube, or, well, I'm going into my third year, I should say. But, yeah, ideas on a postcard. Interesting. Almost done all of the um, Christmas trees. They are, they do get hidden, but almost done. You already feel old. <laughs> all of my mum's friends, kids, that I remember being four years and now 14. Yeah. Uh, I have it with Carl's grandma. Uh, she came to visit. We were in Blackpool. We weren't even like here. But she came to visit and she brought her other grandkids. And they were like little kids. They were, they were all little kids, all like running up and down um, the seafront and whatnot. Um, and I still picture them like that, even though I'm friends with them all on Facebook. Um, and one of them is 20 uh, odd now. I still see that little girl running down the seafront and it's really weird. <laughs> it does kind of mess with your head a bit. So yeah, I, I totally relate to that. Um, but it is very strange. And Kay earlier, she sent me um, a TikTok and it said songs that are now 20 years old. I knew all of them. But Crazy in Love was on there, and I said, there's no way that's 20 years old. No way! Like, what are you talking about? It is. It is. Um, I don't know what that means, honey. You haven't said <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's, like, Australian. <laughs> My puppy turns three, doggy years, it's 21. So my girl and I will both be 21 this year. Oh. Good night, Helen. Thank you for joining me. I will be going in about 10 minutes. But thank you so much. It's so good. <laughs> That's my saying. It's all good. Oh, have you got an itchy? Come here. Here, here, here. Henry, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you itchy. Are you itchy? You're itchy, itchy. Do you want to come say hello to everybody? Do you want to say hello to everybody? Yeah? Yeah? Do you want to come say hello? Okay, here we go. Look, here we go. We go to solo screen. Ta da! Here he is. Here he is. It's not doing it. Is it just slow?
There we go. This is going to go onto the big screen. Here we go. Okay, here you go. Say hello. <laughs> hello. Here you go, look. Why are you looking away? You're so rude. This way. There we go. Oh, I can see your cute little face. <laughs> there. You super awesome. But this is Henry. This is the one that makes all the noise on the floor. Yeah, he's awesome. Awesome little doggy, aren't you? He's not a one for being picked up, are you? Not a one for being picked up. He knew this love. I know. <laughs> oh. No, he's not very pleased. He doesn't he doesn't want to be here, do you? He don't want to be here. Oh, No. I'll do the other side. <laughs> he's fine as long as he's getting hugs, aren't you? Do you want to put. Hang on. There you go. Is that better? There you go. Do you want to go down now? Puffing and puffing. Yeah, he loves. Because <laughs> the way I'm holding it, he's only a little westy, aren't you? A little chunky westy, but a little westy nonetheless. Okay, are you ready? Don't, don't be mad with me. Alright, don't jump, don't jump. Okay, there you go. Oh, that's not nice. He told me off. Oh, he told me off. Welcome home, Angie. Are you all good? Um, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> um, I'm not doing an all-nighter. I don't know if you missed it, but I'm not doing an all-nighter because I have an inspection in the morning from... The amazing um, agency landlordy people. So it's just laid on the floor now. <sighs> it's like, yeah, have that. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I'm here for about five, ten minutes and I'm calling it early because I need to be up for the inspection. And I want to run around with a mop, <laughs> basically. Just so I feel better. It's not like it's grubby or anything, but you know when you know someone's coming and you just don't want them to find fault with anything? So you go that extra bit. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, Cindy has sent me a... Hmm. I just like unicorns. Is this one that you found in your stash? Hmm. Are you you blinged it up, haven't you? <clears throat> of course, you have blinged it up. Uh, just zoom back out again. Ta da! That's what Cindy's working on. Is it working or do I have to tilt it? There you go, <laughs> I have to tilt it a little bit. I don't know why. But the light is um, bad. Ta da! Oh, back again. 
but I can see mm. horn is blinged. Ooh, we have a child. Oh, you're blinging it up throughout there. Do you come and say hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm shutting down in um, five to ten minutes because we have an inspection in the morning. <laughs> Cute cover mind on. I look at all the details, not just oh. <coughs> oh no, yeah, I'm going to be five ten minutes. I can't just have you come in and then go bye. Um, we need to have a chat first. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, what's next? I won't do anything but toxic signs. <laughs> toxic is the bit next biggest one. It makes the most sense. It's just... Oh good, it's all good. Oh, I had one of those cakes. You've got headphones on so you can't hear me. But you heard me, I confessed. <laughs> I confessed. Um, I don't really, I'm gonna do these. I'm doing anything but toxic signs because They take the most concentration. It would be the next logical thing to do because it's the next, like it would cover 99% of that. It's just no, just no. You know when you like that with a diamond painting? Just no. His, oh, his horn was supposed to be purple. I sunshine in it. And spark. Yeah, I can see um, you put bits in the um, in, in the flowers surrounding it. I can see you've put, I don't know what, I don't know if they're ABs, but not really showing them here. But they look like, oh, like pearly type. Um, if I can zoom in on that. I don't know if it's going to sharpen here, Cindy, because I'm not very good at this kind of thing. See, all in here, it's all like pearls. I'm not very clued up on things. But Angie's one, she, um, bling, she blings up things as well. Um, I don't have the foresight in, in that. Oh, dearie, dearie me. What to do? I'm just avoiding putting these toxic symbols down. Oh, what else? Let's do random ones instead. I'm hoping I'll be done with this by the next time I go live. And we can be working on something else. Because now I have a week. And I only have this bit and five sections to go. Oh, glow glass. Awesome. That's awesome. I'm not very clued up on um, different things. Because I don't do it, I guess. You know, it's not something. I've got a box of ABs, um, all different colours and all of that. I just um, I don't know. I don't know why. Please, go to the kitchen, Henry. Um, I just choose not to. I, it's not a choice, I don't think. I think it's just I don't have the 
imagination for it. And I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Could have blinged up my little dragon. Please, come back in, Henry. Um, I did do a home tour earlier. Um, so teach. you might want to check that out. You okay? Sounds like you fell. I think his legs are going. I'm personally, I haven't blinged anything up yet. I don't have enough of an AB or go in the dark drill stash yet. This one didn't even have DMC on it, so I just put things. <sighs> yeah, you you have the foresight though. You have always oh, been to bed. See if I can sneak a photo of him. Just leave my bed. Because there's not something. Henry! He's deaf as a doorpost. Thanks. Didn't catch him. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's my. <laughs> I thought something was on my um, phone, but it's the phone holder. Ta da! So he sits in his little bed. I will perfect this one day. There he is. Just sat next to me. I have all kinds of stuff for square, very little for round. You prefer squares, Zoe. Although you have quite a few round paintings, especially if you've been to AliExpress in your craft room, you will have a lot of rounds. So, well, guys, I guess I should really call it because I have an inspection tomorrow. Uh, yeah, um, I'll, I'll put my thinking cap on for the Fanatics days. I don't want to clash with Cindy, obviously. I don't want to clash. But, um, I'll put my thinking cap on, come up with something, and, yeah, I'll be here next week. Um, I do have videos lined up. I do have to finish my 2022 completions video. That's going to be fun. Um. And all of my fanatic finishes go on the end of that. I'm still compiling them. There's a lot to go through. But thank you all so much for joining me. I really, really do appreciate it. I love you all so very, very much. Um, have an awesome week. Come check in with me on Monday. And I will see you then. Love. Hugs. Oh, energy. Yes, please. <laughs> and sparkles to you.